out of the way. Hello and welcome to Lemonade Stream. Um, I like lemonade. I bought all the lemonade I could find. I want to know what the best lemonade is that is readily available for purchase, at least kind of around Dallas, Texas. Um, three lemonades of note I was unable to procure. I asked people for suggestions. Number one, Hubert's Lemonade. Uh, as of this year, it is discontinued. You cannot buy it outside of wholesale, which is like $1,000 sales for restaurants. I don't have that kind of money to burn on Lemonade Stream, uh, which sucks because I've never had it and a ton of people recommended it as like the best lemonade, but um, Coca-Cola cut down a bunch of their products over the pandemic and that one got hit. Uh, Newman's Own Lemonade. Love it. Couldn't find it anywhere. Don't know why. Um, yeah, that one's just not on there. And uh, my zero, lem the worst lemonade I've ever had, Cock and Bull Bitter Lemon is fucking terrible. I really wanted to have it here, so I had like a floor for the lemonade to compare everything to. I couldn't find it. Shockingly, the terrible taste of it was out of stock. So here's the format of this. I am gonna consume all the lemonades that I have. Um, not, I'm not crazy, I'm not gonna drink all of them. I have some friends coming after this to take the lemonade, so I'm gonna be pouring most of them into cups to drink them. Um, I'm gonna take like one or two sips of each lemonade and talk about how they are, what is good about them, what is bad, and then I'm gonna rate them all one to five. I'm gonna keep my favorites and the worst ones back here. And also by request, this is the, the ultimate lemonade jar. I'm gonna put a single, little sip of every single lemonade in there, mix it together, and then at the end I will drink it. Um, I'm keeping hard lemonades out of there because I hate the taste of alcohol. I do have hard lemonades. I'm gonna hate all of them, um, but I've got them there. I'm gonna keep all the ones and the hard lemonades out of there, and then at the end I'll put them in and see what the taste difference is. But I want there to be a chance that I'll like it. Um, yeah, other rules. Um, I bought anything that had the word lemonade on it and had actual lemon juice listed as one of the ingredients. That's kind of my bar. Uh, there's, I didn't get any half and half, which is iced tea and lemonade because I don't like half and half that much. I think it's worse than iced tea and worse than lemonade. Uh, the, the like bitterness of the iced tea or the like weird sweetness, depending on it, will kick the lemonades like punch and it'll get rid of it and vice versa for the lemonade. It's just less than the sum of its parts. So I didn't get any of those because I didn't want them. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's start. Let's see what we've got. So first up, from my oven, we've got Simply Lemonades. Uh, Simply is my favorite brand of lemonade that you can get just from most stores. Uh, I like them all. I actually, did I not buy the basic kind? I guess I didn't just get the lemonade, simply lemonade. There's a lot of flavors of these. I got every one I could find. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. Also, I brushed my teeth within the last two hours because lemonade destroys your teeth since it's acid. So, uh, let's hope that I don't taste any of that. Ooh, also, what's fun, uh, let's play a game. It's called Which Lemonade Has the Most Sugar and Which Lemonade Has the Most Juice in It. These are all 12%. This one's 11, but these two are 12. I know some of these have like, there's one that's like 30% lemon juice that I'm excited for. Uh, this 55 added sugars. Holy crap, that's really high. Yeah, so this is Limeade. Yeah, that's just... Very light and smooth going in, has a kick, and it lingers for a little while. This is really good limeade. I give this like a four, four out of five. You can find it at most stores and it's good. Approved. Put that one in there. What's a 70th of that glass? I will say they're um, simply lemonade, like the raw kind, not that good. I wouldn't recommend their normal variety, but all the other ones, pretty solid. This is Simply Lemonade Strawberry. They also have a raspberry flavor. To my memory, the, uh, I should probably shake these. To my memory, the strawberry flavor is like 
sweeter and there's more and then the raspberry is a little tart and it sticks around couldn't find the raspberry yep this is exactly what i just described it's like ooh, strawberry and then it kind of just floats around like a little strawberry lemon mist these are more um whoa these are way more like their sub flavor than the lemon by the way and that's fine I'm gonna need to switch these glasses too. Yep, that's another four. These are just really good. Oh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be going. And these are the ones I'm familiar with, so I'm kind of blowing past them because this is my lemonade of choice from an average store. So this is gonna be my comparison. I'm my goal. I'd like to find new lemonade that I like a lot. Oh, also, because my parents said they'd be watching, and I said they'd, uh, I'd wear a shirt that they got me. I can't wear it because the camera's reversed, so uh, the words on it don't work, but I'll show it off for a second. Okay. Uh, someone can probably reverse this. This is a shirt from Pizza Pizza in Countryside, Illinois. It's my favorite pizza place in the whole world. They sent me three pizzas from there. It's very good. So if you live in Chicagoland and can read backwards, I'd suggest going there. There, that's out of the way. Screw that. Also, I've got a bowl of green apples here as a uh, palate cleanser. Because nothing gets rid of sour taste like a sour apple. Actually works pretty good as a palate cleanser. This one is simply blueberry. Offhand, this one's kind of dented. Oh yeah, five. This is the best one. Um, wow, that's really, really good. Um, this is insanely sweet. It's like, it's like the best type of blueberry muffin. It's like a blueberry lemon poppy seed muffin. Very sugary. Um, very light. Again, it's like, it's like frolicking through a blueberry mist, um, with a lemon jacket on. This is like, this is a high tier drink to me. Uh, it's very unhealthy though. 52% added sugar. Um, woof. All right. So that's, I believe that's all the simplies I have. So four, four, five. Here's the fun part of this stream is going to be me figuring out how I'm going to put these lemonades away. And also... Looking out because I've got wires everywhere. This is a recipe for disaster. My fridge is over here. You know what? I'll just leave these out for now. They can they can stay for a little while. Uh, let's do Santa Cruz next. I believe I have three of these. Hang on. Can I can I move this far here? Let me show you what this, uh, oh, no, I cannot move it that far, unfortunately. Give me two seconds. Again, it's tangled up in other wires. You're going to go on an adventure for a minute. I apologize. Okay. So, uh, a little hard to see, but you can see the huge amount of lemonades I have everywhere, all over. All right. Let's put you back on here. If I end up editing this video, I'm gonna love that I just moved the camera. I say with disdain. All right. And I think there's one more. There you are. Who is texting me? And why are you texting me right now, person? I shouldn't act like this is a big presentation. It's my birthday stream. I can do what I want. Sam, what are you doing? Add to glass, okay. All right, Siv. You mean the blueberry Did I forget to? Add a little extra, because that's a good flavor. All right, next up, we have Santa Cruz Organic. Uh. Ooh, it's gonna be in direct competition with Simply because these are the exact same three flavors. 
Oh, also, um, one more thing about Simply before I move on. I, I like these guys a lot. They're my favorite. Sometimes their packaging, I don't know if they use bad plastic or it's just old, but you might get one of these and it will just taste of plastic and it'll just be ruined. It'll just suck. Uh, that's the biggest downside for Simply. Okay. Moving on. Let's do, let's do it in the same order. So this time we got, this is actually our first proper I'm just a lemonade. This is Santa Cruz organic lemonade. How much, how much shit is in here? 12% juice, 40% added sugar. Uh, the reason I'm not just drinking these from the bottle is because I have people coming to pick some of them up. So I don't want to be disgusting about it. Mmm. Huh. Um, I need to drink that again. <laughs> okay. So that's not bad. Wow, that has like almost no lasting power and does not stay in your mouth very long. Yeah, it's a little lemony. It's okay. This tastes more like a mixer than a drink to me. Um, I can't figure out what this Im flavor impression is that I'm getting. Because I'm sure there's nothing in here. I'm sure it's just, um, yeah, it's just lemon shit. But something about this tastes old. Like, this tastes like when you bite into an apple and, like, a little bit of it, you can tell it's not even, like, bruised, but it's, like, a little old, you know? Like, there's just old in this drink. I'm, I'm going to give it a three. It's not bad, especially with, like, like a tall glass of this with ice. It's okay, but it's it's a three. And it's, it's only keeping that three by the grace of God. So let's try the strawberry. Ooh, here's another game. Guess how many time, uh, how, how far we'll go into this before I spill something all over. Double points if it's on my computer. Okay. Get rid of this. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna knock this down to a two. Something's not good about it. Couldn't tell you what. All right, strawberry. Let's do a palate cleanse. This literal old apple that I'm eating tastes less old fruit than this does. Mmm. Way better, way better immediately. This drink smells nice. Like, that hit my nose before I even drank it. Very strawberry. Very light. Maybe, you know what? I know I shouldn't be drinking more lemonade than I have to here, but... This is more sour and this is more sweet. I, th I think I like this better, actually. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, this is a four. That's way better than the basic lemonade. That's the thing you'll find, though. A lot of lemonades, um, if you add blueberry, mint, or blackberry to a lemonade, it, like, super elevates it. It's way better. And I, I don't have a single mint lemonade. I looked fucking everywhere. I searched online, and I couldn't find any. I'm mad. All right. That's a lot better. I think... How, how much... Yeah, I think I gotta start putting more of more of those in there. All right, now blueberry lemonade. Santa Cruz blueberry. Almost drank straight from the glass. Should be fine. What the fuck? Whoa. Do you know what a blueberry is? This is blueberry, right? I'm not crazy. That's supposed to be blue. What the fuck is that? That's not blueberry. This, this tastes like eating a leaf that a ladybug just crawled over and the ladybug like squirted out some of that ladybug, uh, bud, the ladybug blood that like, you know how lady, like the orange shit they squirt on you? what that smells like. It kind of tastes like that. It's really acrid. 
Is this like a bad bot? Did this expire? That's really strange. There is not an ounce of blueberry in here. Is there actually blueberry in here? Organic blueberry juice. Are you sure? Mmm. It tastes like vinegar. It tastes like balsamic vinegar almost. Why is it so sour? No, okay. You know what it is? It's someone went through and they were like, blueberry? Oh man, we got to use these fruits somewhere else. But I can, can I use the leaves? And they're like, sure. And they plucked all the leaves off of the blueberry. And they're like, technically this is blueberry juice and ground it into a drink. Despite all that, I'm not going to call this a one. Um, it is not the worst drink I've ever had. You, you would be a bit of a clown to describe this as blueberry flavored though. Into the, into the cup. Okay. Mmm. That, that one was not good. Wow. Okay. It was, not, you know, poor, poor showing from Santa Cruz. Um, the, the strawberry, pretty good. These two, mm, skip them. Did not like that at all. Let's move these around. Once I make some more room in my fridge, I'll uh, put some stuff out there. Let me look at chat. Well, almost 400 people, hello. Jello, the glass, you forgot the blueberry glass. No, I didn't. I swear I poured that. I poured a shit ton of that in there. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Hey, I did not screw this on sideways, Mac. This is broken underneath. It, it came like that, it's dented. That's not on me. All right, let's see. Uh, you know what, next? Ah, we got, we got them up here, okay. I'm gonna need ice for this though. So let's do this. Enjoy the sounds of my ice machine. Okay. All right. I actually have a fuck ton of Trader Joe's stuff. One, two, three. Forgot the boot. What are you guys talking about? Okay. Um. believe this is no I think there's even more hang on these are all Trader Joe's I know I've got at least one more and it only feels fair to compare the like ones to each other we'll be in like the way back right yeah here we go all right I believe oh no you know what fuck okay here we go wow that's a lot Okay, these seven are all from Trader Joe's. So, what, what the fuck are you talking about? You're all just screaming, I forgot the blueberry glass. What does that mean? What are you talking about? Explain, explain more than that. I don't understand. Until you guys learn how to communicate. No one's talking and there's 300 people in here. I'm gonna guess something's wrong, I'm gonna refresh. Maybe Siv can text me again and yell at me more accurately. If this wants to refresh at all, wow. That is not going. Hello? There we go, Jesus. There are 400 people. Yeah, okay, now I can see you. Yeah, sorry. Um, my entire uh, old chat, it's not my fault it wasn't going. Thank you, Siv. I'll keep the Siv in my pocket so you can tell me. You forgot to rate the blueberry? I said not, a, I said two. 
Not a one means it's a two. All right. Jello, it's me, your best friend. That is true. Hmm. Okay. All right. Where do we start? Um, do I have base lemonade? Yes. Trader Joe's organic lemonade. These ones I did not refrigerate because they didn't need to be refrigerated. Nice pour, <laughs> idiot. All right. Yep, that's the Trader Joe's lemonade, I remember. Um, I'd say a four on that. It's like, hmm. It's very mellow. If those last yem uh, lemonades I was drinking were like 20 somethings and 30 something yuppies, this one's like, this one's an old, old man. He's like 60. It's a little bitter. Um, it's kind of mellow. It's good though. How much? It's, it's probably a little too sugary for 58. Yeah. Oh my God. For, for how mellow and small that flavor is, I think a 58 is a little egregious, but um, okay. Let's put you in the, the master cup. Yep. It's probably gonna be pink by the end, right? All right, yaminade. Okay. I'm kinda gonna have to uh, cheat on this one. As you can see, I already drank 90% of this because I've, I've had Trader Joe's lemonade 100 million times. I know what it tastes like. Ah, oh, fuck, that was a blueberry one. Blech. Oh, it's... Maybe I should knock that down to a one. That's not what anybody wants when they order a lemonade. God, it really tastes like the leaves off of blueberries. It tastes like the blueberry you eat, and you're like, ooh, that one was rotten. Yeah, you know what? Knock that one down to a one. It's so weird. Ugh, man. I was giving it the benefit of the doubt for being interesting, but interesting does not mean good. Some of the blueberry was still in there. This mixed with the blueberry? Pretty fucking good, actually. <laughs> Hang on, let's get a clean take. Yeah, this is, this is just this, but a lot more water in it. It's a lot brighter, it's a lot easier to drink. Um, unusually for a light lemon juice, this still has 16% added sugars, which is a lot, but um, I would say, including health, I think this is pretty much objectively better than this. Um, they're both good, though. Like, I, I would be happy if you serve both of these to me. So I'm going to say four for both of them. Boom. All right. Uh, limeade. This is unpasteurized Trader Joe limeade. I think you're supposed to drink this fresh, and it's not. These I bought these first. Uh, so... It's a good thing you can't look down and see how many spots I've already spilled all over this cloth. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. Oh, wait, what am I? I, I can just drink from the bottle because I've already had this one. Mmm. Mmm. Nope. Two. That's lime juice. That's, that's lime juice with no twist. This needs more sugar. And I bet it already has a ton of sugar in it. This has, this has 54% added sugars and it still needs more sugar. This tastes like a bad lemonade stand product too. And that's fresh squeezed juice, fresh squeezed juice beverage. Anytime they've got two descriptors in there like that, I'm, I get suspicious. Um, I could just pour that in there. Okay. Pink lemonade. Actually, you know what? Let's do the limeade because that's a direct comparison. This I already had. I already know my opinion, but uh, I'll say it again. Thoroughly boring. 
Oh, I'm sorry. This is organic jalapeno limeade. So you think it would be a lot of flavor. You drink this, it's like a dusting of lime and then like the smallest tickle of heat and it's gone. Um, this could probably be an okay mixer, but other than that, I don't really like it. Big glass, Siv, you, you gotta tell me what the fuck you're talking about. For this? I did. I poured it into the cup first, then drank the bottle, then poured it in. All right. Yeah, mixers need to be strong. Yeah, because the mixer is supposed to like, maybe not overpower the alcohol, but like it's competing with alcohol, right? As you will find by the end of the stream, I am not an alcohol drinker. Um, and I hate it. I think it's disgusting. Palate cleanse. Here, I'll scream big glass every time because I think you guys are missing when I pour it into the big glass. Okay, this is pink, Trader Joe's pink lemonade. Because these are retail brands, they all, they all have really boring descriptors too. Once I get into the weirder shit I bought at small stores, I'm excited for that. This is, oh, this is low calorie pink lemonade. Okay. That is so mild. That's barely anything. That's like, that's like homeopathic lemonade. There was lemonade in there once. Um, it being warm is not doing it any favors. Nothing about this is pink to me. Pink, Pink lemonade doesn't necessarily have a flavor, but like you kind of expect it to have a different flavor. This, this doesn't. Um, two. I don't think there's a reason to get this one. Is it like healthier? No, it's the same as this. Same as this, but a little worse. It's pink, if you like the color pink, then... I mean, I guess that's, a, that's unfair. In a vacuum, these are both... No, this one's a three. It's just not as good. Though I guess this one was in my fridge, so it's probably a little better. Hmm. Oh, that one actually, there, that one actually did forget to pour in the big glass. Big glass. Palette cleanse. Trader Joe's organic strawberry lemonade. This is the last one. Oh no, it's not. Oh God. All right. Let's try this fucker. Mm, mm-hmm. Fat man step on a strawberry and put it in his drink. Ooh. You know? Props, this really tastes like strawberry puree. I, I don't know if it's to its benefit, though. Um, pasteurized shake well, what's in this? Yeah, organic strawberry pure, uh, puree. It tastes like it. It, I'll, I'll give him this. You don't often get actual strawberry and strawberry lemonade. I bet, hang on. I bet this tastes way better cold. I'm doing Trader Joe's a little bit of a disservice here. Big glass. Okay, let's try this. It's fine. It's fine. This would be a great mixer. Um, I'll give it a three. It's, it's not bad. It's fine. It's a drink. Now the secret one, sparkling lemonade. Um, didn't get a lot of sparkling stuff because a lot of them are water, but yeah. Hmm. There is lemon juice in here though. It's 34%. I think 58 is still the biggest we're looking at. This is, yeah, I guess this is more specific. Trader Joe's Sparkling Lemonade, best enjoyed chilled. It is a classic with a twist. A, it's a twist. Okay, yeah, this is just bubble lemonade. That's pretty good. If I'm a shitty waspy woman at a baby shower, but I'm driving home, this is what I'm gonna drink. Ah. 
I I hate how much I like this, actually. I was really expecting to not. Um four. It's not exceptional. It's it's just bubble water with a little more acid in it, but like I like bubble water and I like acid, so um that's good. Okay. I really like that one. Okay. All right, um, I'm gonna get rid of all these Joes. Woo. Okay. What's my lemonade count, chat? Big glass, I put it in there, I didn't say it. How are we looking on the lemons? Okay. Oh, that's a fun one. Let's do that next. Okay. This will take me a second to find all of these. One. Oh, hey! I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. I did find. Uh, I did find normal simply lemonade. This is simply lemonade normal flavor. Very sugary, a little boring, a little Minute Maidy. It's what you think when you think lemonade, though. Could be better. It's like a two and a half, three. It's fine. Big glass. Here's the big glass status so far. It looks pretty normal, actually. <laughs> Uh, okay. I think you guys are going to enjoy these next ones. They're not that weird, but they are fun. You're going to hear a lot of glass moving around. Oh boy, do I have more? I think I have more. I'm pretty sure I'm missing at least one. There you are. Yeah, I'm missing three. Okay. All right, baby. Calypso. <laughs> this is not even close to every Calypso flavor, but it is all the ones I've ever seen in a store. <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and drink these myself. I'm not gonna use a bottle. Um, Ooh, I'm excited to see this go in there. Ugh, once again, chat stopped, damn it. My, uh, my shitty second computer is not very good at keeping up with this. So um, I'm gonna bring a couple of these over so you can see them, because I actually think that Calypso has dynamite bottle designs. They're backwards, but you can get the idea. Calypso. They're just very fun. I like them a lot. And then here's this lavender one. All right. Wow, I can't believe how bad a job this computer is at keeping up with chat. I might as well close it. It's like literally just wasting desk space at this point. All right, how about we go in rainbow order with these guys? I guess, you know, I'm gonna save you for last because I've never had you before. And let's figure out what a rainbow looks like. Use your phone for chat. It does the same thing, but I'll try. Okay. I don't think I have the Twitch app. probably close my fridge. Yep, there I am. Tap. Pride glass. Yay glass. Gay glass. I'm not sure what you guys are reacting. Oh, because it's rainbow. I do have one green lemonade. It's the one I'm most scared of. I think pink goes before salmon in a rainbow to me. Get this 
right? This is important. More than the blue one? I've had these before. These are good. They're very different. They're very different from most lemonades that I've tried already. I'll just hide this one behind there. There, we got this, we got this whole array. Doesn't that look nice? Let's, let's try them in order. Um, so first off, Paradise Punch Lemonade. So uh, to my memory, Calypso, taste of the islands, shake well, real lemon bits. Uh, I really like Calypso. They're very tropical. It's like, you know, like tropical Skittles and tropical Starburst. It's like that if they didn't suck and they were a drink. They've also got like chunks in them, not that you can see them. I really like them because they look like video game potions. So this is Paradise Punch Lemonade. Ah, okay. Uh, we've got our winners of the added sugars contest. This is 110 so far with 6% juice. So this is 99% sugar. And boy, do these taste like it. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my God, after those last couple, that's like all those other ones were like little kids like at a lemonade stand, just like, here mister, we had lemonade, we would put lemon juice and sugar in it and it's pretty good. And then down the street, there's fucking Daryl coming out of a meth lab. Like I melted down a bucket of Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> this is insane, this is so tasty, but like, Oh, you can taste how bad this is for you. Oh, man. Okay. What's in this? That's a lot of flavors. Wow. And I don't want to keep drinking it because it's really terrible for me. Um, well, on the front, looks like grapes and cherries. Paradise punch. Yeah, this is just like, this is fruit punch. And the word punch is italicized. That's a lot. Big glass. Oh God, it even tastes like I just ate candy. Like I can feel the sugar on my teeth. Oh man, four. These are all really good. Like they're really good. If you're drinking lemonade though, this should be, this is like, this is dessert. <laughs> this is, these are so much. Oh my God. All right, next up, um, this is strawberry lemonade. This is the light variety. Oh, I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the normal one. I couldn't find it. Well, that's all right. Typically, the uh, light ones of these are basically the same, but they taste a little more like stevia instead of, like, cane sugar. Okay, so, yeah, strawberry lemonade. That's a proper lemonade. We'll see. Added sugars, zero. Mmm. Added sugars, zero? Really? What, what's in there, you little bitch? Sucralose. Okay. Yeah, this is terrible for you too, but for different reasons. Mmm. Okay. So the way I, this is not gonna be, this is a, your experiences are not universal, but to me, Calypso tastes like a public pool in like the best way. Like, um, I've always hated going to the pool, but like you go to the snack bar and they've got like big stupid ice cream pops and candy and like, sugar syrup they put in drinks if like you know you can get hot dogs and stuff but like there's desserts this something about this is like pure chlorine in the air uncomfy plastic chair leaning back and this is the best thing about the whole experience is like this drink um this tastes a little bit like a pink starburst but like it's been weird sugar freeified it it's good though. Man, these are really good. Um, yeah, still, still, God, honestly, five. These are, these are fucking delicious. I feel like if I want to keep drinking it, like, isn't that, is that not what a five should be? Oh, that was good. Uh, my mom asks, is that my big glass? I was going to have a giant drink today to celebrate your birthday. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you got me this. And it's simple homemade goodness. Next up, 
Back to the over 100 sugars. This is Southern Peach Lemonade. I had one of these the other day. Taste cleanser. Kind of a big apple slice. That tastes like a kiss on the cheek. Oh man. It's very peachy. It's ve it, that's just peach and sugar. That's just marmalade being smeared on your face. Mm. I don't like as, as much as this one and it's way more unhealthy, but I'm also not a peach guy. So I'm gonna give that a four. That's good though. Okay. Glad I can't hear the apple. Misophonia would kill me. Me too, ma'am. Did I pour that in there? I don't think I did. And if I did, I'll give it a little more. This is lemonade. This is normal ass lemonade. I, I bet this is gonna... I, I feel like this is disproving my love for lemonade, if nothing else. It's just like... All my favorite lemonades are the ones that aren't just lemonade. <laughs> but maybe this lemonade with 106% of my daily sugar will be able to convince me otherwise. I don't know where all that sugar's going. It's not doing much work. After these three, this tastes like nothing. This is so boring. On its own, like a three, because it's so unhealthy, two. Um, I would not recommend this. There's no, if you're at a store and you see Calypso, why the fuck would you get the normal lemonade? Every other one of these has been better so far. Big glass. I think I need to go back to pouring a little less in there. All right. In three hours, Jello is gonna be found in a lemon coma. I think I've only had like maybe one glass about this size in total of lemonade. Okay, uh, this is Calypso Light. Still just lemonade, but this is a lot better for you. That's better. This, this literally tastes better than that one. They both taste fake and terrible for you. This one, hang on, let me, just to be sure, let me. Get a little apple in there first. This is nicer. It kind of tastes like just taking those baked sugar packets from like a restaurant dining table and pouring it into, into a drink with some lemon juice, but like, it's fine. Give it a three. It's a lemonade. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. If you don't mind fake sugar taste, this one, I love this color. I don't know if that's coming through very well, but just this very lavender color. We've got Calypso Taste of the Islands Island Wave Lemonade. I've had this one as well. That's the nice thing about Calypso. Most of their flavors have a light variety and a lot, they taste a little different, but they're like just as good typically. Big glass, did I not? I'm glad you were all here to yell at me on my birthday. All right. Island Wave Lemonade. Mm. <laughs> it's so much. This is like drinking a candle. <laughs> after this, after this piddly regular light lemonade, drinking this is like mainlining a scented candle. <laughs> Wait, this is even like opaque. <laughs> the, the best part of that was that hit me in waves because like I was like here and I can smell it. And it's like, oh, this is going to be so much. Wow. Oh, this stays in your mouth. Oh, this stays in your mouth. I don't know if I even need to take another sip. Holy shit. What's in this? 
God, that is a drink. Oh, son of a bitch, that's a drink. You know, this is so much. Five. Have I even been... I've been rating these, yeah. Five. Wow, that's a lot. But, like, damn. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, God, what's, what's in this? Like, pineapple... Pineapple, mango, banana, orange. Just every fruit. They're like, what What fruit do you want? Everyone. Island wave. It, it really does taste like being hit by a wave. <laughs> The candle gets a five. I like candles. It's a good scented candle. It's so much. Oh my God. God, that's a lot. I don't even, I don't need another sip. Holy crap. That, that knocked the wind out of me. Okay. Ocean blue lemonade. Uh, I've had this one too. It it has blueberries on it. I don't remember this being blueberry flavored. I abs I might need to, like three palate cleansers after that. Holy crap! <laughs> I like candles. Says Jello drinking them. <laughs> yeah, I can see so. I'll cool it. Oh my god. Okay, ocean blue lemonade. Calypso, let's try this. A lot. Calypso's a lot. How much, how, hang on, how many added sugars were in this one? 108? Who's the worst offender? Paradise Punch is 110. This one's 100. Okay. So if anyone is keeping track, the Paradise Punch Calypso is our number one sugar bitch. Um, this... Tastes, I, this just tastes like candy with an exclamation point after it. Just candy. I don't even know what flavor this is. It's not blue raspberry. It's not blueberry. This tastes like a sucker you would pick out, like, at the end of a checkout line. Like, they just have brandless suckers sticking out of that, like, circular thing. And you just pick a blue one. It's just like, what flavor is it? Blue? It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's like, good. Like, I, I want more. But, like, it's it tastes... This, you, if you were a parent and you gave this to your child, this is a sugar rush in a bottle. You'll regret it later. Um, still going to give it a four. I, I really like Calypso. If they weren't so unhealthy, then I'd drink them way more often. God, that's a lot. I, I can't get over this one. That one's insane. Oh, they've got messages on the top. I didn't even notice. Um, Paradise Punch is get it poppin'. Uh, these ones are just zero. The, the blue cap ones are the zero sugar ones. Zero sugar, five calories. But what is this? I can't, I can't read it. Catch me beachside. Shake, sip, repeat. May cause island vibes. Is that what you call this island wave? Oh, this one's also may cause island vibes. I'll, I'll reveal black cherries in a minute. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, Ocean Blue Light Lemonade. To my memory, this one's better than the, the sugary one. I didn't put that in the cup, did I? Are you yelling at me? I bet you are. Yeah, you are. You little snips. You snip. <laughs> oh, I just ruined the whole complexion. <laughs> okay. Piff is yelling. J. <laughs> okay. Calypso light. The same thing, but better. This tastes... This tastes like a pool. This tastes like being at a pool. That's all I can say. Tastes like a pool. Four. four. It's good. I want I want to be in a pool and drink this. Big glass. Ew. What the fuck? I don't think... Can you see this? I poured that in. I poured that in? And like, I don't think there's enough light here. But like, there's blue chunks in it now. The pulp in this... Because these have pulp in them. The pulp in this is blue. And like this, 
this like made it purple, like in a blueberry kind of way. This made it blue, which is concerning. This made it blue in like a don't drink this thing under your sink kind of way. All right. Uh, the only Calypso I've never tried before. I'm excited. Black cherry lemonade. Um, and this one's message is this way to the beach. Ooh. Joe's favorite flavor is pool. No, my favorite flavor is candle, evidently. I don't know. So if you're going to drink, a, like there's different kinds of lemonades that you can enjoy. Like sometimes you just want a really light lemonade. Like Trader Joe's is a really good light lemonade. Simply is a good balance of like, ooh, there's some flavor. And it's not the, it's like not healthy, but it's not bad for me. These are like, do you want someone to walk up to you and hit you in the face with a pool noodle made out of sugar? And fuck it, sometimes I do want that. And like, man, I, God, these, these are a lot. And I appreciate that. Like if you're going to be a sugary drink, like these are all sugar and they use it. And I, I like that. Black cherry lemonade. Oh no. That smells like blood. <laughs> that straight up smells like a nosebleed. Wow. That, that is like as bitter, like that's, that's as like hard, bitter, sour, sweet as like a, an intense soda. Wow. This is a soda. This is a soda without bubbles. But like, you know, props to them. They they said black cherry and they meant it. That is like a bitter black cherry. That's good. That you know, five. That's great. If you if you want sour and you want a sour lemonade and you don't care about your teeth, black black cherry calypso. Very good. <sighs> God, the blue is just at the top swirling around. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to take a little break because there's a bunch of plastic everywhere I need to clean up. Oh, my God. Wow. So, uh, unfortunately, so far, my favorite lemonades are Blueberry Simply, Candle, and this one. Those are very good. Blood equals candy. Jello, why do you like blood and candle flavors? If you're a vampire, I've got the lemonade for you. It smells like blood. It's got that like acrid stink when you're like, you're like, oh, I think I might be bleeding. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Wow. Oh my God. These little guys are so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can fit these back in the fridge. Um, Cause I don't want them to get like you know, gross. Hmm. So, uh, if any of you need to pee, now would be a good time. I'm not going to take a formal break, but it's probably going to take me like three minutes to reorganize. Let me see if anyone's saying anything important before I do that. I'm only at 23. Oh no. All right. Vampire <laughs> reveal. Jello Apocalypse Vampire reveals thing. I'm gonna take some other stuff out of my fridge. Got some old oranges in here that I can move. These have mold on them. These need to go away. Calypso. You taste like a candle that's made out of blood and you are my favorite. Oh my God. Wow. This looks terrible, by the way. I can't wait to try. Oh, that's hard to mix. Oh, that's just, it's like viscous. <laughs> I'm gonna need to find a bigger glass, by the way. Well, yeah, that sounds good. Where the fuck am I gonna put all this? Simply is 
good. I'm gonna keep it. Santa Cruz, not a fan. I'm kind of disappointed in that. You too, huh? I'm going to wash out these glasses as well so I can reuse them. All right. for the big glass is I'm going to get a second big glass and then mix them together at the end. minutes. All right. Uh, we're back. I'm going to grab some new ones. So because I clearly didn't have enough, oh, I'm unable to connect to chat. Welcome to the chat room, there I am. Hello, we're back. Should probably close the fridge. So these are from Shake Shack. I got them today for lunch. Um, woo. These are lemonades. I ordered four from Shake Shack. The mango lemonade was out, and their normal lemonade was not delivered to me. So these are the ones I have. Let's try this. I don't know what the, they're pink. I'll guess what they are. Right, this one. Ah. Okay. I think this is lychee salted limeade. It tastes fermented. It tastes like there's wine in it. It's not what I want from a lemonade. Um, like it's refreshing because there's ice in it, but it tastes like you poured a lime into some wine. Two. It's interesting enough to not be a one. Strawberry limeade, very good. Very sweet, not good for you though. All right, um, I'm the only one who's gonna be drinking this so I I don't want to open these and spill everywhere. They're very sticky. I can feel it. I'm just going to be disgusting for a second. It's fine. No one else is going to be trying that. All right, uh, I'm just gonna toss these. I don't need more lemonade in my house. Especially the lychee. That is a, uh, that's not good. I don't like it. <laughs> I 
Very hard to put a cap on a fucking pot. A fucking cup, apparently. I'll, I'll keep this one. This one's pretty good. All right. The, re uh, the next couple are a random assortment. I've never tried most of these, so this is all blind territory at this point. Woo! Pink three or four? Four. It's very good. Um, two, asterisk for the lychee, and then, yeah. So these two are swoon lemonade, naturally zero, oh, naturally zero sugar. Why? Do you have monk fruit in you? Oh, you do. I can't swallow this. Um, I've had monk fruit one time, and it made me throw up. So, uh, I'm gonna try the, I'm, they're not going in that either. Sorry. So this is Swoon Lemonade Classic with real lemons, five calories, zero sugar. Monk fruit tastes interesting, uh, but 100% of the times I've had it, it made me vom, so I'm not gonna swallow this. <laughs> it spit so hard it just slapped me back in the nose. <laughs> I'm afraid I need to re-examine that. That has three different waves of completely different flavors. Blech. Ew. That tastes like a normal lemonade. That tastes like Trader Joe's lemonade. Good. And then it's like... Asparagus? Oh, the, the back, the aftertaste. There's no aftertaste either. Like, it's gone. It's like, uh, Trader Joe's Lemonade, asparagus? Gone. At, I, I gotta give it a one. I mean, if you taste like asparagus, you're out, bro. Oh, God. Ew. Fuck, <laughs> Gross. Um, I don't know if it was asparagus exactly. It tasted like vegetable. Not even like vegetal. Like, not like matcha. Like, it tasted like a cooked vegetable. Which is like the last fucking thing I want in lemonade. Um, that's not going in the big glass. Um, it, it wouldn't go even if it wasn't, if it didn't have monk fruit in it, because it's a one. So it's not allowed in there yet. Swoon lemonade, pink lemonade. Let's see what kind of vegetable is in this one. Clear, clear taste. Clear. Mm. One. What the fuck is this? Ew. Oh. Oh, it's so complex and it's all bad. Ugh. This fucker at least convinces you that he's nice and then he stabs you after the first date. But what? What the fuck? Oh, oh, horrible. Your new main squeeze, I doubt it. What's in you, you monster? Filtered water, lemon juice concentrate, natural flavor, citric acid, lemon pulp, strawberry juice concentrate, lemon oil, raspberry juice concentrate, monk, monk fruit, fruit and vegetable extract color. Lactic acid? What? Oh, oh, it has such a bad aftertaste too. Oh God, what? I need to disc, there's a, like, this is so complicated and it's all bad. Oh, and it's still in my mouth. Mm. Zero. Well, congrats, bottom of the barrel. What is this? Mm. Mm. <sighs> oh. Oh man, no, I need to put words to this. I, I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, it's so terrible. <coughs> I, 
I I don't know what what exactly that tastes like, but the vision I'm getting is if you took a lemon and bit into it and the inside was mushroom. Oh. Oh god, and then the aftertaste is like rotten orange. What the fuck? Wow. That like not only is that some of the worst lemonade I've ever had. That's like that's maybe one of the worst drinks I've ever had straight up. Um Swoon Pink Lemonade. D fucking awful. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, into the garbage. Ew. Ugh. Do you know what pink is? Can you? Oh, no, hang on. The, the lighting is doing this all the favors. This is the color, of, this is Miller Lite color. I can, can I get it in the spot where you can tell? The, the camera colors are wrong. This, this looks like beer. Oh God, oh. Well, holy shit, we found our bottom. Oh, oh my god. I, I swear I'm not playing that up. That, like, actually is nauseous to even pass my lips. Oh, oh man. Mm. You better hope that you found your bottom. God, I hope so. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think it'd be that bad. The monk fruit from, like the other thing I had was Virgil Zero Sugar Root Beer. And that tasted good. It tasted weird, but it tasted good. And then it made me throw up. That like, wow. Oh my God. Yeah, the, I wasn't gonna add a zero, but um, the normal lemonade is a one. The pink lemonade is a zero. This is undrinkable. This tastes like really bad alcohol, except there's not even alcohol in it. Oh, God. Okay. You know what? I hate Minute Maid Lemonade. I'm gonna do Minute Maid Lemonade a huge fucking favor. It gets to follow that. So whatever it comes up with is gonna be pretty good. Yeah. Yep, that's Minute Maid Lemonade. It's the Sunny D of Lemonades. Two. Low two. Minute Maid Lemonade is the reason that it's always a gamble to order lemonade at a restaurant. Oh my god. I'm like literally nauseous now. Ew. Oh, so bad. You know what, Lem Minute Maid Lemonade? You're drinkable. Oh, wow. Yeah, actually? No, okay. That's a couple servings. Never mind. Big glass. It's fine. It's, it's crappy sugar water. It's barely lemonade. It's an embarrassment, but it, didn't, it doesn't make me throw up. Hang on. I've got, I've got pink lemonade lemonade. I need to find it. Oh, my God. Wow, I really wasn't expecting that to be that terrible. I wasn't expecting anything to be that terrible. All right, Minute Maid Pink Lemonade. Same shit. 3% lemon juice. Yeah, I can tell. These are the same drink. Is there any difference at all? This one's like 3% sweeter. This one's like 3% more sour. They're both twos. Completely boring. Big glass. Q, I, Q can hear how broken I am. The reason it's called Swoon Lemonade is because it makes you fucking fall over like you're on a rocking boat in the middle of the ocean. 
before you hork it up. Ooh, okay. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a different one. Dole Lemonade. Never had this. I guess I'll do a taste cleanser. We ain't even at 30. I'm still, I'm saving the fun ones for the end. Made with real lemon juice and real sugar. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, no, because there's a fuck ton of stuff in there. Ah! 138% added sugars. For what, Dole? This tastes dead ass like those shitty little fruit cups. If you opened it, poured out the pineapple and just drank the juice. Ugh, this is not good at all. You might be a one. If you were healthier, I'd give you a two, but this bottle being 138% of your daily added sugar, I think makes you a one. I might not finish you if somebody handed you to me at a party in a glass and was just like, this is lemonade, here you go. I'd be like, oh, thank you. Oh, mm. And that, I'd, I'd finish it then and be like, that was pretty bad lemonade. But if you told me it was like, that was 5 million percent of the daily sugar you should eat, I'd be like, oh, thanks. Takes another sip. I need to taste it again. Only some of these have like lasting power. That candle one, you literally only needed one sip. It just stayed and stayed and stayed. And it was good. And that monk fruit one stayed and stayed and stayed. Okay, this is a Whole Foods one. I've never tried this. This is Evolution Fresh Organic Strawberry Lemonade. A lemonade made from a balanced blend of sweet strawberries and tangy lemons. It's everyone's right to thrive. Every moment of every day, we can be our best, most loving, and vibrant selves. Together, let's step up to show up better than yesterday. At Evolution Fresh, we constantly chase what's next, crafting juice-powered beverages that move you forward and help you thrive. Let's press ahead. This sounds like the type of thing and I get up every morning at five and go jogging and then go to church person who is racist would drink. So let's try it. Once again, that really strong strawberry puree smell kind of putting me off to it before I even sip it. Tastes a lot like, um, what was the other thing that had strawberry puree in it? Tastes pretty much exactly like that. Um, do you guys remember? Was it Santa Cruz? It's fine. It's like, it's a lot. It's really sugary. And for, okay, for being so like, we're from Whole Foods, we're healthy. Yeah, let me read you these nutrition facts. Vitamin D, none. Calcium, none. Iron, six. Potassium, six. Vitamin C, vitamin C, six. That's my favorite thing about lemonade. It's like, you always see, it's like, it's a great source of vitamin C. I love lemonade. It's just terrible for you. There's nothing good for you in lemonade. It's sugar and water, and then they like fart a lemon in it. Um, like ev literally every other fruit juice is healthier. <laughs> um, 666, the devil. Yeah, maybe I was wrong. Maybe the churchgoers wouldn't like this one. It, this tastes like a, like, you know what? This would be a great base for a smoothie. It's too much to drink on its own, too. I, like, I drank that much and I feel bad. Did I put the dole in the big glass? You tell me. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, did. Thank you, Piff. This is Uncle Matt's Organic No Sugar Added Lemonade. Why? You don't have monk fruit in you, do No, it's stevia. Great. Okay. Take that, you piece of shit glass. Love it. First sip. Well, we'll find out. Never had this before. I'm always suspicious of a zero calorie lemonade, but sometimes they're really good. Should probably use a glass, huh? Mm. 
No. Not at all. Ew. That wasn't one of the glasses I spit out my crap drinks in it. What was it? Just to check. No. One. It's nothing. It's like water with some soap in it. And it's sour. It's bad. <laughs> Someone, it was! Because I've got this one. I can tell this one is a spit glass. Um, yeah, one. This is really bad. But it is, it's neutral bad enough to put in here. Okay, and we got one. Ooh, our first bottle lemonade. This is, oh. This, sorry, this is boiling sparkling lemonade, cane sugar, limited release. So, um, Siv and Yam, I think you're watching this. This is the same brand that made that birch beer I had the other day. So, uh, that was my, ooh, it's sparkling lemon. Oh, <laughs> I recognize the brand. Um... Okay, sparkling, it looks nice, it smells good. Mmm! Mmm! That's actually really good. Is this soda or lemonade? That's actually, that's lemonade. How much percent, uh, how much, how much lemonade do you actually have in you? Yeah, there, it, it doesn't say, but there is lemon juice in it. That's really good. This is something you drink in a bubble bath if you're not drinking wine. I love this. This tastes like, this tastes like artisanal Sprite. Like really, it's, it's very good. Uh, it's not quite a five. It's close though. It feels like a five after this fucking spread I just drank. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what? Fuck it. Five. Why not? I'm liking it a lot. It's making it's making me do a wiggle when I when I drink it. Yeah, five. You went for a third sip. Yeah. If that's not an indicator of a five, what is? Uh, I'm gonna drink the rest of this today because it's a bottle. So, ugh. Every like two minutes, the monk fruit is just like remember me. <laughs> Actually, these I got from a soda shop, so maybe I should save these for later, but I'm not gonna. I didn't put the sparkling shit in the big glass. Big glass. All right, we got Lemmy's peach lemon. Actually, I have another Lemmy's. I'm gonna grab that, let's compare. I know I've got another Lemmy's somewhere in here. Um, let's see, I thought I did anyway, am I making that up? No, here it is. All right, this is more sparkling lemonade. So we've got uh, Lemmy's sparkling lemonade. These are cute, I'm gonna show the camera. And Lemmy's peach lemonade in a bottle I just love. As well as John's Lemonade, which I was excited about until I realized it's supposed to be uh, John Lennon, who I hate. All right, let's go. You got a lot to live up to, Lemmy's. I just had a really good sparkling lemonade from a company that really doesn't know what birch beer is. If that last one was organic Sprite, 
This is organic uh, Sierra Mist or Fresca, which means it's worse. It's not bad. It's a soda. This is soda. This isn't lemonade. Like four. I, I like this. It tastes good. It's not what I want from lemonade. Big glass. It is cute though. Lemmies. Um, I love these little soda companies. They only show you total carbs and not added sugars, which is a subcategory, which is very Weasley of them. All right, let's try the peach lemonade. This is not sparkling. That doesn't smell like it's going to be very good. Melted crayon. This is a melted crayon. There's no lemon. It's straight up plastic. What's in this? What did you do? What fucking... Peach lemonade, triple filtered water, cane sugar, lemon juice, natural flavors. Crayon? Oh man, one. That's really bad. That doesn't get to go in the mix. Not yet. Ugh. You're the same company? This is so good. You only have one different ingredient. What natural flavors did you put in there? Nothing natural tastes like that. Oh my God. It... Have you ever had a shelf or a storage unit or something and there's like a light bulb a little too close to a shelf and you put something plastic in there and the heat slowly melts it and there's like a stink in the air from that? That's literally what this tastes like. This tastes like burning plastic. It's peach lemonade. Nothing about it is peach. I'm, I'm so mad about this one. Like, at least Swoon Lemonade was like, we're trying weird shit. We've got monk fruit. This has no right to be this bad. Because there's only one ingredient that's fucking it up. Ugh. Ugh. Welcome to the one club, motherfucker. All right, John. You can't be much worse than that. to compare these three this one's easily the best for sure this is boiling sparkling uh spoiling spoiling lemonade it's not bad john lemonade hmm this one's the most interesting not in a good way but there's it it changes flavors as you drink it this is like Sierra Mist, something, and then it's gone. Do your big glass, yeah. Did I do lemmy, uh, lemmies in there? If not, whatever. And then this one. Fresca Sierra Mist Sprite. And Sprite's the best of those three, so. Um, five, four, three. Which is good, because I think, I think they are good in the order it is easy to purchase them. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's put all these away. Putting 
This does not fit like anywhere except the top. Shit. That's bad because I don't like you. I don't think you're a good drink. There we go. You know, I gotta say, my biggest worry about this stream was that there wouldn't be like a wide variety of lemonades. Like, they'd all be kind of middling. No, very surprised by how terrible some of these are. So, congrats. <laughs> Okay, tell you what, how do you guys feel about doing the mixed lemonades, the ones from Powder Packets right now? Does that sound good? I'll let you respond while I, <laughs> oh, these do not, my spit buckets look exactly as disgusting as you'd expect. Yes, do it. All right, sounds good. How much is 16 ounces? That's like... That's like a single tall glass, right? Eight ounces is a little cup. 16 ounces is a tall glass. find out if chat understands how to measure. Sounds about right. Great. In that case, let me check. I just got a new water filter. I'm not sure it's actually good to drink yet. I think I got to get like another gallon through it. Mm-hmm. All right. Tap water it is. these up with water and yeah let's see how that tastes that's tap water but it's fine like metal but it doesn't taste like filter and I'll take that all right got our nice little blue straw here so we got some drinks let's get the packets We have a variety of, uh, I'll show you two of the packages because these are going to be too hard to see. This is True Lemon. Right, I keep forgetting my camera's backwards. Uh, t turn your eyes horizontally and read these. <laughs> so, uh, True Lemon, we have Raspberry, Wildberry, Strawberry, Original Lemonade, and Black Cherry Limeade, which, here's hoping. So... Let's just go in whatever order this is from here to there. Lemonade. I believe the only instruction on these is pour in 16 ounces, which is not quite what's in here, but that's fine. I tend to like a higher powder to water ratio than they offer anyway. Okay. That looks like mac and cheese powder, which I don't care for very much. <laughs> It's like mac and cheese powder if it was made of insulation foam. Which it might be, I don't know. Feral jello in the corner, lemon powder dusting his nose and lips. Water and dust. 
Does that look fair? All right, so this is. Sure. Should we? Should I mix them all first and then try them back to back? I think that's. I think that's better. Let's do that. No, because I'm gonna forget what they are. So this is lemonade. Mm. <laughs> that's not terrible. Um, it tastes like bad packet lemonade. Kind of like Crystal Light, but even faker, which I do have some Crystal Light. Uh, I gotta be honest, am I crazy? You know how when you brush your teeth with mint toothpaste and then you drink fruit juice? That's a little bit what this tastes like. Two, I wouldn't hate it. If I spent a dollar at a lemonade stand and you gave me this, I would be very angry. By the way, etiquette of lemonade stands, you gotta make your own fucking lemonade, okay? I'm not paying you to buy something from the store and pour it in a cup for me to stop on the side of the road. That one's actually less disgusting than it looks. I'm just using vacuum to move it. All right. Try this next one. Raspberry. Okay. Oh, they are different colors. That's nice. This one is a white powder, like cocaine, that then turns pink the second it hits water. Okay. It smells better, or it smells more, I guess, at, the, at least. It's a very artificial pink. Looks like a flower petal. Okay. So this is raspberry. Mmm. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, way better! Because it tastes like raspberry snapple powder. Or not snapple, um, Lipton. Mom, you let the chat know what we used to get. The big, uh, they were like yay big, filled with uh, brown powder. I think it was Lipton Ice Tea Mix. If you mix that with bubble water, you get this, it just turns into a cup of pure foam and you can eat it with a spoon. It's really good. Uh, this has the same problem. This tastes like I fucking, this tastes like I've got uh, mint. It tastes like I've got mint toothpaste in my mouth and I'm drinking orange juice. Maybe, you know what? Maybe it's cause I'm putting too much of the packet in there. So to give it a fair shake, hang on. Okay. All right. I'm going to try this again. I'm only going to put half of it, half the packet in this time. See if that makes a difference. Let's try that. There's still a lot in there, so. Because, like, the, the taste at the front is, like, bitter in a good way, and then it turns sour in a bad way. All right, let's try that. It's less of both, but it's still there. I think it's just the product. Oh, that's that's bad. Are these all going to suck? Two, two, and these are low twos. It really tastes like I just brushed my teeth. Right, thank you, Piff. Spilled that all over, but it's fine. I don't want that much in there. <laughs> all right, this is strawberry. Once again, I'm kind of gonna, I'm putting less powder in each time. Man, that's a shame. The raspberry has such a good front taste and that it just, it feels so bad after you drink it. This one smells like it's gonna suck. Mmm. 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 Big cup. Ew. No. No. 
They all taste like citric acid in the worst way. Ugh. <laughs> What's the difference? I'm the only one drinking it. I can backwash into there if I want. Nello says, <laughs> Jello, Jello. I did that on purpose. I know. That was me putting this drink in there. All right. I'm glad Piff got a laugh out of that. Are you guys like in a call together watching this and going and screaming? This is a uh, wild berry. I, I might as well just smell these because I can tell what they're going to taste like. This one's going to be awful. I can't see it. Rating? They're all like... I feel like if you mix this correctly and put something else in there, it could be good, but God, oh, the, the after flavor is just so bad. And I'm sorry it's such a boring answer, but it really, it really just, it has that sting of drinking fruit juice after you have mint toothpaste. I think that one's a one. That one doesn't even taste like it'd be good if you got it right. These, these taste like a scientist is in a lab and they have essence of fruit and acid and powder and they're putting all, them all together and it's like, finally, this is number 50, 53. One of these experiments has to work. Does it taste like strawberry? Are you strawberry? Father, kill me. Damn! Damn! I love to see Jay laugh at my jokes. <laughs> Did, was that the right one? All right, this is, this is black cherry limeade. Come on, man. I don't know, magically be good? It, this one smells nice, but like these smelled nice, so. I just figured out what it is. I figured out what these taste like. When you get a colonoscopy, <laughs> you have to drink this substance called Suprep. It is a viscous, oily, clear substance that is flavored like bleh. And it makes you shit everything. It just clears out your body. This shit tastes like Suprep. <laughs> No! <laughs> Why does it taste like soup wrap? The, the, you know what's actually not, like making it even worse is that soup prep is so gross that like when I drank it, because you have to drink like a lot of it. You have to drink it. You have to get it all down. You have to do it a lot. And I, to drink it, because it's, it's not a liquid the body is supposed to be drinking. Like it's got the wrong viscosity. It's like, the texture is gasoline and the flavor is Gatorade with like the meanest salt in it. And like, it's really bad and you can feel it. Like you put it in your mouth and it coats it and it's just like, ugh. So to drink it, I, I, had a, I had one of these straws and sift it and tried to get it all the way into the back of my mouth and I had to go like, <laughs> <laughs> like it was really terrible. The black cherry limeade. It's the exact same flavor. All of them are siblings, but the black cherry limeade. I look it up. Follow the money. Does true lemon make soup rep? I hate this. 
I'm... <laughs> I can't put that in the cup. I'm sorry. <laughs> For me, that's a, that's a one. Oh my god. Oh... Oh, Jacob Marley. <laughs> I didn't think he'd be that bad. You are all going straight in the garbage can. <laughs> How hard is it to make fucking lemonade? I don't understand. that was soup prep. I'm, I'm like getting, I didn't think this stream would make me so sick to my stomach. <laughs> All right, I need to prep the next batch. Let's see what we got. Okay, only three. And they're all brands I recognize, so that's good. Trader Joe's Sparkling Lemonade. Rem remind me what love is. Thank you, hon. Oh my god. Mm. It's not good, gang. Mm. So next up, we've got Crystal Light Normal, and then Country Time Yellow and Pink Lemonade. straw again. We're back. All right. Crystal Light. You, I was reminded of you with that first one of the last group. So hang on. There's not different instructions for some reason, are there? I'm a master chef. I gotta figure out how to fucking make lemonade. Is it on here? Yeah. 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 Also, in the true le the true lemon, the uh, the fucking instructions were on these little packets instead of on the box, which I thought was weird. Like, I mean, I think you'd you'd want to put it on both. Am I really not gonna be able to open this with my Shitty baby wrists? I don't think I am. Thank you. Just 
just gonna try half. Jello, it's been two hours. That's about right. Crystal Light Lemonade. It's a brand I recognize, so hopefully it won't be disgusting and I can actually drink it. That's a shitty drink, but it's a drink and I swallowed it. <laughs> That's Crystal Light. I don't know how to describe Crystal Light. This might be a I grew up Christian thing, but okay. If you built a gingerbread house with frosting on the roof as like mortar holding the pieces together and you left it out for a week and then you took a cheese grater and grated off the hard frosting and used that for sugar, that's what this tastes like. And it, it's never met a lemon. But its cousin was roommates with a lemon. <laughs> Two. It's not good, but it's drinkable. Yeah, you know what? Retroactively, every single true lemon, a one. Fuck that. I couldn't, I literally couldn't drink those glasses if I had to. Big glass. That's Crystal Light. That's the only Crystal Light I've got. I do not regret only buying one. Um, okay. Oh, Country Time immediately gains points for having a pre, like a pre tear in there. So shitty baby wrist people can do it like me. Unless, okay, there we go. Yeah, man. Let's try it. Country Time Lemonade, another thing that I have tried before. Look at him go. Let's try this, let's try this, let's get them both at once to see which one's better. I'm expecting it to be the pink one, but I don't actually have a reason. Me at the start of the stream. I love lemonade, me at the end of the stream. I think I hate lemonade, guys. All right, uh, country time normal. Pretzels is the same. Is there any difference here? They're all the same. Hang on. Are you good? Are you a three? This bitch is all right. This little pink bitch is okay. This is a three. I, I have to imagine like, this is, this is very blunt. These are for poor people, right? Like the only person who would buy these is like someone who can't routinely afford like lemonade when their kids like lemonade. So you buy these like $2 boxes that can make you like four pitchers. That's what they're, that's what they're for, right? That's unfair. But if you are in that situation, Country Time Pink Lemonade, fucking easily the best. Uh, almost the only drinkable one. Yeah, like, that's not me being rude. It's just, like, when you're poor, there's certain products you buy at the store as opposed to other ones, because you just, you just have to, and... Man. Those are all really bad. I'm... I, I debated even getting these, because I was like, oh, it's going to take so much time off the stream. Ugh, man. Not good. All right. Well... The rest of these are not powder packets. So we're moving into we're moving into the final act of lemons, which is great, because 
I don't care for these. Did I put the pink bitch in there? I don't think I put that pink bitch in there. Get that pink bitch in there. Yeah, you can get a ice cube in there. Who gives a shit? Still, there's still blue chunks. I love it. Everyone reacted like, oh, you spit in it? It's like, dude, guys, there are blue chunks floating in that beverage. I'm fucked. It doesn't matter what I do to it. Act two, the low point. Act three, the redemption. Big glass chunks. Someone looking at ice cubes in a drink. What are these glass chunks you got floating around in there? My kitchen is going to be sticky. Cleaning it up will be pretty tricky. <coughs> These drinks are pretty bad. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got left. Water. Water sounds amazing right now. Water. Honestly, five. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Yeah. All right. Let's do this group. I'm just ordering these by where they are in the. Uh, just ordering them by where they are in my fridge. Um, cause once I did most of the brands already. Okay. Oh no, what the fuck? That'll be a surprise for later. It's a secret tool that'll help us later. Okay. I'll let you guys know what I saw. So. It wasn't a spill or anything. That would be too kind. I believe most of these are from Central Market. Okay, let's, uh, let's do these. These three are actually a collective brand. So this is uh, Whole Foods. This is 365 Lemonade, organic. Uh, I've got organic, light, strawberry. Okay. Uh, let's just start with the normal one. Why does it smell bad? There's a really specific taste here. There, there's lemonade. This is a lemonade. It's better than the last things I drank. But there's something on the front of it that's bad. What is that called? The nose? If I'm being an asshole about it? Okay. Do you ever... You've seen me spit in cups. Do you ever, like... you ever chew, like, a snack? And then you trip and it flies out of your mouth and lands on a table and you're like... That's still good. And it's got kind of your own taste on it now. This feels like someone pre-drank pre it and it's spitting in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> rate, rate it, says King. Uh, the three, uh, it's like, it's mostly okay. It just has that weird taste at the front. All right, guys, I think I need another big glass. I'm going to combine them at the end. Give me a second. You're sitting underneath my glasses. You know what? Oh, no, I was going to use the glass my mom got me for my birthday, but it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's got a pretty thin nozzle, and I'm already splish-splashing everywhere. Yeah, there's no bugs in this. I'm tricking you by having all my nice shit on this side of the kitchen. It looks like a war zone over there. Three. Did I put that in there? I think I did, but in case I didn't. 
All right, let's try the light variety. How much must I donate for me to drink the slurry bucket? Why do you think I'm making a slurry bucket? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it for the aesthetic. Of course, I'm gonna drink it. I'm not gonna drink all of it, but this is the light variety of the same thing. It's just lemonade with warm spit. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like spit. Two. These, again, maybe these are better, like, I mean, all lemonade is better cold, but, like, you know. How about you, strawberry? I hope you don't have strawberry puree, because that already tastes like someone spit in it. No, no, no puree. Actually, wow, only 38% added sugar. That's not bad, actually, for, uh, for this shit. Let's try this. I think this one's a little better. This is a three. This one's fine. Once again, strawberry, but see, okay. The problem is if you're a lemonade manufacturer and you got to like make your flavors, the only way that your base lemonade is going to stand out against the others is if you've got a fucking dynamite lemonade and like, that's hard. It's hard to make a really good lemonade, which is why so often the pink ones are a little better or the blueberry ones are better. All right. These are all pretty mediocre, if I'm being honest. Big glass. And big glass friend. You guys won't be able to see that one, so that's a little less fun. Keep on walking, children, outside my window. Okay. Oh, God, I'm worried about these. Uh, so the rest of these I have bought from Central Market. Central Market sold these fresh, which means uh, I bought them about five days ago. I'm going to guess they're probably worse than they were when I bought them. Okay, let's find out. Uh, this is just Central Market. It's just the brand. So uh, let's try the lemon one. Please don't be shitty. Oh no, you got one of the, okay, good. It's not good, but it's got a kick to it. I'll give it that. Ooh, there's a lot of lemon in this. You know what? Four. It's not good. Four. You, you put like, you have this in a glass of ice on a cold day. Fucking awesome. This, um, this is a lot though. How much, like what percent? They never say. These, these fucking non-retail ones. Shape them better, you toad. This is fine. I, see, if I can literally see the silt, I can tell when it's fine. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's a lot. So Central Market normal one, it's, it's sour. And I appreciate that. I appreciate a lemonade that's like, that's actually, if, if you're a lemonade, you can go like, I'm gonna be sweet and bad, or I'm gonna be sour. And like, if you're gonna be sweet, I'm not gonna like you. But at least you're, at least you've got an identity. And this one has chosen sour, and I appreciate that. Let's try this guy. There are. You'll be able to see this. Hang on. I get this angle. I can't. You can see the strawberry. There's strawberry all the fuck over this one. This is almost a smoothie. Wow. Um. It's a little too much for me. Tastes too organic. But it's not, um... It's not bad. 
It's really strawberry. It's not for me, but I'm going to give it a four. That has, that has practical applications. I'm sorry you won't be able to see the interior of this one. Oh, you know what? I'll use this bitch. There you go. Look how, look how bright and pink that is compared to its older brother. Ooh, yikes. All right. Both four. Kind of surprised by that, to be honest. And here we've got Country Acres. Oh, are these all Country Acres? Yeah, look at that. All right. These scores are out of five, not out of ten. All right, Country Acres Lemonade. Normal flavor. Hmm. So many of these have that plasticky, spit-in-your-mouth nose on them. Oh, and this one has a bad aftertaste, too. Mmm. Uh-oh. Do you suck? You might suck. Oh, I know what this tastes like. You ever... Have you ever been in a squirt gun fight and you're like, I'm thirsty, and you take one and put your mouth around the nozzle and go, <sniffs> exactly what this tastes like. That's the plastic. Oh, I don't know if that's, be I don't know if it's the bottle doing this dirty, but low to, it's got flavor in it. It's not undrinkable. <laughs> a colonoscopy. I'm almost 30. I should have had a colonoscopy by now. Or maybe it's 40. Why do they all taste like spit to you? Because they do, okay? It's like a weird... Because they're all warm. A lot of these are like warmish. Because I'm not drinking them with ice. Okay. Raspberry. You know, I trust strawberry more. I'm going to try that first. There's a bunch of little kids outside my window making water balloons. Should I ask them if I want to make lemonade balloons? Because <laughs> I've got a lot of material here. Okay, this one actually smells good. Significantly better. Still a little plasticky. This is a drink, though. Don't know if I'd call it strawberry. This is a little strawberry. I'd probably call this pink lemonade. I wouldn't be able to tell. It's, it's very acidic. This, this is a lot better. This is like a three or a four. Um, let's see, three or four. I'll give it a four. It's good. Wow, it's way better than the original. God, this is plasticky. Ooh, ah, you know what? No, I'm gonna knock it back down to a three. I can feel this on my teeth. This is really bad for you. This, what's the acid? 22% juice. Ooh, no wonder. That's a lot. Mm. I gotta wash my mouth out. Wow. Ooh, that's bad. Oh yeah, thank you. I didn't add them to the bucket. Medium cup. Medium cup. Okay. Raspberry. Doesn't smell good. Doesn't taste good. What are you fucking doing? The kid outside my window just took a water balloon and shoved it all the way in his mouth. What are you doing? Oh, he's... He's biting them so they stream as he throws them. A little weirdo. Um, what a little weirdo. Anyway, back to my three-hour lemonade stream. <laughs> mm. No, this one's got something plastic and, uh, and artificial in it, too. Too. It's also, like... It's also, like, really sweet. And, bitch, if you got 22% juice, go sour. Like... Go sour or... Oh, God, wow, that one's really acidic. These are a lot. What brand is this? Country Acres. Yikes. Country Acres hurts. 
I can feel it running down the front of my esophagus and burning it. <sighs> Limeade. Smells a little better. There we go, bitch. Yeah, that's it. Four. Oh, that's a fucking limeade. Okay, this one's good. Kicks these fuckers out of the water. I don't remember if I put this in there, so just in case. Yeah. You got 22% juice. Go for sour. And that is, that's sour. That's unapologetically limeade. That's why I like lime. I like limeade more than lemonade. It's just less common. Um, because limeade, for some reason, people are like, limeade is going to be sour. People use it as sour mixers more often, too. The wiggles of approval. Yeah, we got a wiggle. That really is like the, they're like, ooh, something spicy. Like, that is a, that is kind of the indicator of quality on this stream, isn't it? All right. I, I really didn't want to pick this one up, but I did. This is Diabolo, sparkling French lemonade, blueberry citron. French, like this shit, this brand of drink, it, it's bad nine out of 10 times, but when it hits, it's like, fuck, it's so good. Also, I picked it up because it's blueberry and blueberry lemonade is top dollar. I'm just gonna show you the bottle. Kind of looks cool backwards, doesn't it? Looks like it could be a logo. All right. Let's try it. Ugh, one of these powder packets is stuck to my shoe. Like it deserves to live. Get out. Okay. Okay, smells good. Tastes bad. Because it's French. Gets worse. Ooh. Ooh gets worse the longer it's in your mouth. And it's the worst thing of all. It's a specific flavor, and I got to identify it. Oh, why do you taste like that? Oh, it's so specific. I know exactly what this is. What's in here? Steviol. I hate that I know what this is. You know when you go to the dentist? And they have the, I don't know if they do this anymore. They have these horseshoe shaped things. They're like cups that they put over your teeth. It's fluoride. That's what it is. It tastes like fluoride. It tastes like the, sh it tastes like they were like, what flavor do you want? Like it's not gonna be awful. And it's like, we've got French blueberry lemon fluoride. <laughs> and it tastes like death. And it's, it's like styrofoam and then a facsimile of flavor. Um, that's not quite right either, but I'm not going to drink more of this to find out what it is. I really know this flavor. It's close. That's, I'm, ugh, ugh, it's not good. Shocker. I'm going to pour that one out. It is actually blueberry colored. It's, it's got that nice purple. I'll give it props for that. Sometimes they don't even give a shit. Like that fucking monk fruit pink lemonade that was brown. Pour it into the big cup. I did. Mm. Woo. What number, Jello? I don't know. Oh, oh, ranking. I thought you were asking how many lemonades that was. One. That was bad. Don't drink it. Ugh. Ooh. A little bit of stomach burp there. You'll love to you'll love to taste the lemonades you just drank. Okay. Away with these. Some of these were okay. I still don't want to drink. Like, this one's good. 
I just still don't want to drink it. It hurts. All right. We're moving towards the end game, which means um, most of the ones I have remaining are specialty store ones, or they're from Central Market, and they're weird. So that's exciting. I'm going to want to die a little less. I hope. Maybe they'll be worse. Oh, no. Actually, I'm kind of worried. Now that I, now that I hope. Ugh. Okay. Where do I put you, little bitches? Okay. Woo. What was the inspiration to do this stream? I just wanted to try every lemonade I could, and this seemed as good an excuse as any. Save that for last. How much do you guys hate me? Um, I'll do here. Ooh, okay. All right, there's some fun ones in this crop. Oh, shit. Uh, did I? Sorry, real quick. I'm going to have to do an addendum. I just found a... Uh, a brand that I already did. Hidden away at the bottom of my fridge. All right, this is back to the 365s. Um, this one was light lemonade. I don't think I had the full version, so let me try this again. It's fine, it's a little worse than Trader Joe's. Organic lemonade, this is not light. Don't go crazy. Not too many wiggles. That's pretty good. I'm gonna give that a four. That's like noticeably better than the light version. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I think Whole Foods 365 might be best as just lemonade, which is kind of rare. Wait, this is a duplicate? Is it? Did I already do that one? Oh. Okay, in that case, I bought two in different sizes. My bad. The one I just drank was unopened, so I figured I missed it. All right, I guess don't count that for anyone counting, and I must have already thrown it in there. So we got some fun ones here that might be fucking terrible. Ah, we also have what I think is going to be your favorite. Keep that. Oh, no, we don't. I have two red lemonades. Interesting. All right. First of all, we have me and the bees. Uh, these are cute. So I'm going to show you their, show you their logo. Oh shit. Is bee fan here? Cause we got bee lemonade. <laughs> this is me and the bees lemonade. This one has iced tea. Um, so it is a, it is like a half and half, which means I'm not going to like it, but I bought it because I've never seen this brand before. Why does it look like balsamic vinegar? Because this, it does, doesn't it? Because this one has iced tea in it. I don't know why it's called Me and the Bees. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, even their base flavor. Is this the base flavor? Oh, that's why I was excited for these. Uh, all of these are cool flavors because it's, God, these are all good. Uh, Me and the Bees Lemonade with iced tea is the only normal one. Then we have Me and the Bees Lemonade with Ginger, Lemonade with Prickly Pear, and Lemonade with Mint, bitch. That one, that one I'm excited for. All right. Can I throw this in the garbage can? Doubt it. Miss. All right, uh, let's do these in, let me read these. Why is, why is it called this? This is the story of Me and the Bees. To be honest, I didn't always dream of befriending a bunch of honeybees, but two bee stings, uh, but two bee stings, great granny Helen's old family recipe, and a little lemonade stand later, I got curious and got busy about learning about bees. Turns out bees are bigger than bugs. I wish it just stopped there. That'd be funny. Our fuzziest friends are the littlest and biggest links in our food chain, and they need our help to stay busy, healthy, and productive. That's why I use honey to make lemonade, which I'm going to hate. 
that tastes good and does good. Every sip spreads the buzz and some of our profits, weird that you wouldn't say how much, some of our profits go to organizations working hard to help the bees. Join me on my mission, become a bee leaver. Ooh, signed Michaela, spelled M-I-K-A-I-L-A. If you're white, I bet you're annoying. All right. So, this is gonna have lemonade, honey, and tea in it. Let's see. Oh, that smells so bad. That smells like a garbage can. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Are these gonna suck? Okay, all right. That, that's not strong of honey. Strong of honey and bad of taste. Ooh. Ingredients, water, honey. Honey is the second most ingredient after water. Oh no, girl. Honey is a sometimes drink. Honey is a, you, you barely put any in there. Mmm. Oh no. Flaxseed. There's something good underneath. It took three sips for me to taste any tea in this. Oh, and there's the flax. That's good. Oh my God. C come back and t take out 70% of the honey. This is almost good. I'm going to give it a two because it's... Tr I'm going to give it a two because it's trying shit. Flaxseed before lemon? No. Uh, the order of ingredients in this are... Water, honey, cane sugar, lemon juice concentrate, black tea, lemon juice powder, monk fruit. Never mind. Why do you have monk fruit in it, you bitch? You got cane sugar and honey. What's the monk fruit for? Tricking me? You. They're not going in the mix then. Not drinking monk fruit. I already swallowed some of that. Fuck. Well, if I throw up, I'll tell you later on Twitter. Honey with... Uh, lemon with ginger. Okay. Maybe. Still too much honey. Honey kind of smells like a weird fart at the wrong distance. Have you ever been body surfing in in the um in like the ocean and you get tumbled by a big wave and your whole body kind of somersaults underwater and you're not sure which way is up that's what just happened to my taste buds it was just like mm, 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 bleh. i'm not allergic to monk fruit i think it's just disgusting mm. wow mm. I don't know if I can rate this one. This is like, I, cause I can't swallow it. I'm gonna put a lot of it in my mouth. I'm not gonna swallow it though. I think this is good. This is like the kind of drink you get at a really small mom and pop store where like everything is artisanal and made within like a local 15 mile radius by farmers. The ginger is good. The ginger is strong enough. It kind of overwhelms the honey, which again, shouldn't be in there. Why is there monk fruit? There's like five flavors fighting in there. If you can't swallow, then it's a one. I mean, for me, I'm not, I've only had something I knew had monk fruit once and it made me throw up. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to try it again. Not on a stream. Um, let's try these other ones. Prickly pear. I've had prickly pear before. I don't think it tastes like that much. I think it's just cool. These all smell terrible when you open them.
That one's all bad. I'm going to give that one a low two or a one. Let's, let's see. I think that's a one. Prickly pear isn't interesting enough to outweigh the huge amount of honey and the monk fruit. Monk fruit does have a flavor. It's not necessarily bad, but it doesn't play nice with everything else. I really want the mint one to be good. I just, I really want the mint one to be good. Please, please, me and the please. That smells so good, please be good. Please taste like you smell. It's so good. It's so good. And then there's honey. It's so fucking delicious. And you're like, oh, beautiful honey. <laughs> Take it out. Oh, easily the best one of these four, though. Ah, oh, does this one have monk fruit? I really want to drink this. Fuck you. Why is there monk fruit? Monk fruit is like something you want to put in soda because it's got like a weird. I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's like halfway between fruit and like umami flavor. Like it's it's almost meaty. It's like it's like in the mushroom world, and like it's it's not bad with certain with like in like a soda it works. H honey, honey and mint. No. I'm so mad. the only mint one I found. All right. Moving on. The heartbreak. Okay. But on the bright side, we've got some fun stuff coming up. Actually, all of this is fun. You know what? I don't like these, but at least they're not just boring. At least they're interesting in their badness. You can write home about them. This is Suya Water. What? Pucker up! Sideways. We made this drink just for you in San Diego, California for joy and goodness. Quote, there is no greatness where there is not simplicity, goodness, and truth. Like 15 asterisks, Leo Tolstoy, organic. Like sunshine and cool breeze in a bottle, lemon stevia. Weird that you're advertising that. Please enjoy within five days of opening. Your belly and taste buds will be grateful. Keep refrigerated, perishable. Cayenne, sweet and spicy. Cayenne? Okay, I was mocking you, but oh yeah, there's little red flakes in here. Ooh, are you gonna be interesting? Okay. One gram of sugar. Oh no, what is in you? Stevia leaf and ground cayenne pepper. What are you gonna taste like? It smells good. What if lemonade hurt to drink? <laughs> Sorry, how did you describe this? Like sunshine and cool breeze. Cayenne. This is straight up if they took Trader Joe's lemonade and put more cayenne pepper in it. It's interesting. I'll, yeah, I'll give it a three. The lemonade's not very good, but like, I do want to keep drinking it after I sip it. Mostly because mostly I'm confused. I mean, if you're on the sun. Like, it's not spicy. It just, it's just like heat. There's not a lot of flavor. If this had more, that's the problem with spicy because they're always just like, it's spicy. It's like, you need flavor though on top of it. Otherwise it's just annoying and painful. This isn't bad. This is Suja, S-U-J-A is my guess. Suja, I don't know. 
These I'm excited for. The lady at the soda shop said these were the best lemonade adjacent things they had. These are soda. These are straight up soda. I cheated. Um, this is Dublin Tart and Sweet brand lemonade craft soda from Dublin, Texas, not Ireland. Um, and this one is Cherry Limeade. Please be good. <clears throat> Let me, uh, I'm going to refill this. I can start to feel this shit on my teeth. I got to spend less time taste testing these. Mm. You get to go in there because you don't have monk fruit in you. You're not a sociopath. Jello, please rate this three. I said. Mm. Let's try the normal one. Dublin tart and sweet. Little steam coming off of that. It smells just like sugar. That's just a soda, but damn, it's a soda. Yeah, that's like a, that's just like a lemon sour candy. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's super interesting. It's good. I'd give it like a four. There's a really specific candy this is, but I don't want to keep drinking it to find out. Maybe I'll just like. Oh, I know exactly what candy this is and it's pissing me off. It's something. It's not bad. Not super noteworthy though, if I'm being honest. It's fine. Four. Please be good, cherry limeade. You sound and look delicious. You smell really good. Fuck yeah. Oh, that tastes like being six on vacation at a candy shop. It's really mellow. It's way more mellow than this. It's, it's a very nice flavor. Is there even any lime in here? It just tastes like cherry to me. Okay, no, there's definitely lime. Oh, it tastes like just taking the, the being at a root beer float with your pops and taking off the Mancino cherry and just eating it. It's good. This is really nice. You know, I'm like, by itself, the flavor isn't crazy. It's just very pleasant. I'm gonna give that a five. I really like that. Those are good. Shame I'm gonna ruin all these sodas by leaving them here. I guess I can chill them because the problem is like I'm afraid to put them in my fridge because I think I'm gonna knock them over and I can't I can't cap them. All right. Ooh. Oh, I'm starting to feel like I drank a thousand fucking things. All right. Oh, I forgot about those. Yep, I need to I need to do those last. Okay. All right. Um. Next. We're almost there. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Be very careful with that one. I want to show you guys what that bitch looks like. Okay. So these are two, these are basic bitch lemonades. They're just normal. Uh, this is Kroger. I was about to say, all these retail brands taste exactly the same. This one, this one gives you a little kick on the way out. In a good way, actually. Hang on. That's not bad. That's better than most of the store brands. Yeah, four. Tastes very fake, but not bad. I like you, Kroger. You did it. Good job. All right. Sunkissed lemonade. I have low to no expectations for this. Look at this fucking neon green nuclear color. Yeah, you smell like Minute Maid. You taste like Minute Maid with water in it. Two. It's drinkable, but bad. All right, fuck those. Now we have the fun ones. Get my chat back open. All right. 
Now these ones I'm excited for. Gotta like wash my mouth out. Also, I am uh, out of apple, so I'm just gonna grab that and bite into it. These are what I'm gonna call the, the bitch lemonades for prissy bitches. Um, do I wanna save this? The, I know this is the one Siv and I were excited for. Let me get these all out in front. I'm gonna keep that as a surprise at the end. All right. We got these guys I've been using as decoration. Okay. Hmm. Hang on. I grabbed one for decoration and I put the other in the fridge. Okay. So a lot of these are the like shitty artisanal lemonades. Uh, I really want those to be good. I really want those to be good. So first, uh, I'll show you what these look like. Since this lemonade, this is Belvoir Fruit Farms Organic Elderflower and Rose Lemonade. This is this is this has a sixty percent no eighty percent chance to taste like like expensive water with a flower in it and piss, or it's gonna be amazing. Let me check to make sure there's no monk fruit in it. Ingredients, carbonated spring water, organic cane sugar, fresh organic elderflowers. More elderflowers than lemon juice? Fresh organic lemon, citric acid, organic elderberry juice from concentrate, rose extract. This sounds like it could be good. Let's, let's, take, a, let's take a sniff. Doesn't smell like it's gonna be good if I'm being honest. Smells like it, <laughs> smells like an aristocratic Frenchman with a piss fetish. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what? There's a lot happening and it's none of it is what I expected. So you look at this. You look at this pretty pink bottle and you think like, ooh, damn. <laughs> it, you, Siv, I know you. I've been to restaurants with you. You would fucking agree with me if you smelled this. This. This tastes like vinegar. This straight up tastes like vinegar, but it's pretty good. It's like good vinegar. <laughs> this is super nice. What does elderflower taste like? Okay. So, I guess they are elderberries, aren't they? Um, I don't know if you've ever lived in a place with elderberries, but if, if they, if, especially if they're over a sidewalk, they drop on the floor and ferment on the ground and they smell like shit. They just smell like shit. And this... This tastes like, in some perfumes, they'll like take like animal glands that they, the animal uses for shitting or whatever and spritz some of it in there because at the right concentration, it tastes pretty good. It tastes like that. <laughs> Hang on. Oh man, this is weird. This is so not what I thought this would be. I like it a lot. Um, it's a little too mean to be a five, but it's a four. I like, this is cool. This is a weird fucking drink. Oh, I just had another comparison. What does this taste like? I don't fucking remember. It's so strange. It's all the way strange. Wow. What? It really tastes like vinegar. You know what? <laughs> I remember what it is. You know, I used to have stories told about me, John Mulaney. And this one time, I walked up to a fancy bottle at a party, and I drank all of it. And the guy <laughs> so said, is that, is that alcohol or perfume? I grabbed it and drank all of it and said, it's perfume. <laughs> That's what this is. That, 
Wow. That's the most interesting tasting thing I've had so far. That's really strange. I want to try other elderflower stuff to know if that... Is that the rose? Hang on. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going in for like seven drinks on this one. It's so weird. Maybe it's the rose. But it's such a mean rose. I guess that might be what it would taste like if you took like a, the thorns of a rose horizontally and went chomp like a corn on the cob. But wow. Weird, 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 weird. Not bad. Very strange. Oh, yeah. In the, in the glass. Thank you. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> this is such a strange little tincture. What the fuck even? What? Okay. Okay. Well, um, Siv, if you in the chat want to post, uh, I've got Fentimins next. Uh, I'll show these as well because Siv and I were looking at these last night and Fentimins Lemonade, all of the pictures on their website look like Instagram brand influencer, like beautiful Pinterest mood board, pink and green. They're so pretty. <coughs> so um, we've got Victorian lemonade, and then we have rose lemonade. Um, yeah, wow. Okay. This is botanically brewed traditional Victorian lemonade up end before pour. What does that mean? Like this? Are you? Is, is that shake before pouring, but you're trying to be shitty about it? Someone says, oh, I've had the rose one. It's not great. <laughs> great. Traditional botanical lemon beverage with herbal extracts. I saw the ingredients in this one. It's weird. Also, these have 19% lemon juice. So these are going to kick me in the dick. Uh, carbonated water, lemon juice concentrate, fermented ginger root extract, beet sugar, glucose syrup, pear juice concentrate, cream of tartar, natural flavors, Speedwell and Juniper Berry. I have no clue what this is going to taste like. You can really taste the cream of tartar. It's not bad. <laughs> Friends gather round. I've concocted a lovely lemonade. I've put juniper berries in it. And uh, 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 lemon concentrate, natural flavors. That sounds lovely, Lord Remington. Yes, allow me to mix it for you. And Lord Remington pulls an entire pickle out of his pocket and begins mixing it in front of you. Here, drink it, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes so strange. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like it tastes fermented, but it's not bad. And it tastes like it tastes like you left a good lemonade next to like the condiments at a fish restaurant. <laughs> And the lemonade was like, ooh, I'll take a little. <laughs> Why does it taste like this? Oh, it's so weird. Four. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> We're too into this batch. I didn't think they would taste this weird. What? Why is there cream of tartar in it? And it works. All right. Rose lemonade, 7% juice, way less. Carbonated water, lemon juice concentrate, beet sugar, glucose syrup, more ginger root, pear juice, more pear juice, tartaric acid, so not cream of tartar, but its cousin, citric acid, the same rose oil as that one. So, okay. Smells very nice. What? It 
tastes like there's honey in it. But there's not. Maybe it's the beet sugar. It really tastes like there's honey in it. it tastes like rose and honey. Interesting. Not as good as either of these two. These two are fucking weird. I love a weird drink. I love a drink where the, the main attraction is me going, what the fuck? And taking another sip to see what the fuck. This one, I'm more like, what the? All right. That guy's got horns. Oh, well, I'm not going to let it ruin my day. I don't think I put the tartar bitch in that in the big glass, did I? Who cares? I bought packs of these, by the way, because that was the only way they were sold. Put the pickle in the glass. <laughs> okay. Um, I've had these two before. They are nowhere near as weird. <laughs> That's the, the last two things I just drank. Uh, this is Lorina. I always, do, I always do like an Italian, even though it's French. Artisanal sparkling pink lemonade. De France avec un nom. Victor Grail. Who the fuck signs their brand lemonade? What an asshole. I guess this lady did it. But not with her full name, you know? She was going for like the, you know me, it's me, Michaela, spelled with a P. <laughs> oh yeah, and these, the, I don't know if you can see it, but they've got, these have like those fancy uh, hook, I don't know what to call them. Is there a word for these? A stopper? It's got like that kind of opening. So you can watch me not know how to operate. Ooh, oh, it explodes. I hope I got that on camera. I'm pretty sure I've had these before. Okay. I might give these away, so I'm gonna try them in a glass. Ooh, they hiss. It's very nice. It's very simple. It's very mellow. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Four. This is what I expected from this. I expected like a little French girl skipping around in her dress and it's all pink and there's pink flowers, but it's very like fog. It's like there's a, a nice mist in the meadow and it's very light and spa watery. Um, but it's got, it's got a non-zero amount of flavor. It's pretty good actually. Give that a four. I'm not over the pickle lemonade. That's the weirdest thing I've ever had in my life. Uh, this one, I think it's just pink. Yeah, that was just pink lemonade. It tasted like pink. It really did taste like pink. This one tastes like the kind of character that Siv and I would see and go, ooh, at the exact same time. Okay. Um... You can tell I have no idea how to open this. Oh, maybe. What are we doing here, folks? I don't know how to do this. I'm so... I'm 26 and I still don't know how to open bottles. I, well, I, bought, some, uh, I bought some hard lemonade, which I'll be doing at the end. And I literally like, I was like, oh, right, I need to get my card out. Because I, uh, I have never bought alcohol before because I hate it. I might not be able to open. How did I fuck that? I, what did I do? Just look this up, right? There we go. Got a nice noise. Yeah, there's nothing. There's like a little bit of fog in it, but there's no like chunks, so it should be fine. These are really nice, actually. You know what? These were like eight bottles. Uh, these were like eight bucks a pop. They actually do taste like it. Like th these would be well at home at a fancy restaurant. They're pretty good. Most of the French lemonade's been batting pretty solid, and I normally hate it. Same thing as this one. This one's less pink. It's a little bit of a bitch. That's the difference. It's good. It's a lemonade. Tastes like lemonade. Nothing wrong with that at all. Those are all, those are all pretty fucking good. So now, Oh, 
foods. 100% cold pressed juice. Green lemonade. Ingredients. Apples, cucumbers, spinach, kale, and lemons. Last. This is not what I look like. Oh boy, can I look at that? Look at that bottom of the pond silt. Can you guys see that? Look how horrible. It's like I'm gonna drink a terrarium. This is what a potion looks like. This is what, I am, I am terrified of this one. This is the one I am least excited to try. And like, even with all that, it doesn't have anything good for you in it. There's no, who is this for? What, what, who the fuck is this product for? Produced in a facility that also produces milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, and soy. So it's not for like, it's not for people with allergies or food specifications. It doesn't have any vitamins or minerals. So what is this for? Oh God. Yeah, yeah, that's what it would smell like. It smells like a cucumber that got shoved up my nose. It smells, it's so much cucumber. Why? What the fuck is this? This is cucumber apple juice. It's cucumber apple juice with some shit in it. The fuck about this is a lemon. As a drink, you know what? As a drink, one. Why would you drink this? Get cucumber juice, get spa water. This wasn't even cheap. This is, this just exists to trick people into going like, ooh, that expensive thing is green. It must be healthy. Oh, I'm not putting this in there. Are you kidding? Fuck that. I'm not going to ruin that because I know that taste is going to spike the whole fucking thing. I'll keep it till the end. That, you know what? I will say to this thing's credit, it deserves to exist the least. This isn't even the, in the bottom five of terrible things I've had today. It's not a lemonade. It shouldn't be called lemonade. It is labeled as green lemonade, by the way. Should have had a separate glass for just the ones. I thought about it. All right. What else do we have? Oh, okay. All right, guys. So, I have four more of these, and then the rest is alcohol. So here we go. First, uh, this one's a bit of a cheat, but Canada, uh, Canada Dry Ginger Ale and Lemonade. Sounds like it'll be fine. Let me get rid of this cute. I can't use an apple to scrub the taste out of apple from my mouth. So heavily cucumber, such a weird thing. It smells worse than I expected. Much in the way that half and half ruins the tea and the lemonade, you have combined two things I like to make nothing. Like a toddler throwing shit in a pan in their kitchen to see what colors swirl together. This is fine. This would be nice if I had an upset stomach, which to be fair, I did today. It's got a little bit of ginger, barely any lemonade, kind of a weird aftertaste. Give it like a two. If it, if, if it didn't have the weird aftertaste, it would be a three. Might be sickly sweet. No, definitely not. All right. These. Uh, does anyone speak Italian? Because I don't, and I don't know what these are. These are La Nostra. Uh, this is 
La Nostra Limonata, naturally flavored with extracts from three lemon blossoms. <laughs> Carbonated lemon beverage. It's not lemonade, but it's a, it's a drink. And then here we have La Nostra Gazosa. Uh, ga gazosa. I don't know what this is. The ingredients are slightly different. I actually couldn't tell if these were different drinks or not. So let's try them. I appreciate that they have twist off caps. I think limonada is probably more lemonade, right? Put the ginger beer in the, yeah, thank you. Big glass. This one has blue chunks and this one has red chunks. Pokemon regional variants. All right. What do you have in you? Let me triple check. Water, cane sugar, lemon juice, orange juice, carbon dioxide, winter primo fiore, which is in quotes, lemon extract, summer verdeo lemon extract, spring lemon extract. So I think it's all fake. Let's try it. Kind of tastes like this, but less fun. It's fine. Fine. You know, if I pick this up on a normal day, four, after this bunch, it tastes like a three. I think it's a four though. I, I won't do it dirty. It's fine. It's just a carbonated lemon drink. That's a little Italian. Let's try the gazosa. This one is different in that it is made of a different Italian thing. I can't read. It's definitely worse. What are you? Doesn't taste quite fermented, but like, I don't know what, I don't know fully what I mean by this. This one almost has a flavor profile that's like, 20% closer to like a bread or like a wheat or something like a cr ever been to a restaurant where the bread bowl in the middle is like a bunch of different breads and like if you're little you only like two of them and then like after a while it's like well I guess I gotta try one of these other ugly looking ones it's like well that's not good but I mean but I'm hungry kind of it reminds me a little of that it's like 80% lemonade then bread I don't like that one. Ye yeasty? A little bit. That's too strong a word. I'd say it would be like 3% yeast and the rest would be lemonade if I was going to call it yeasty. Does this not go back on? Okay, there we go. Oh, I didn't put this bitch in there. Did I put the first Italian bitch in there? No. Okay, hi, Savvy. All right, this one, this is the other one I'm excited to show you guys. Why well, have lemonade when you can drink leninade, as in Vladimir Lenin? This, this bottle is so funny. <coughs> God, I hope this one doesn't suck. All over, they thought of every joke and they used all of them. So this is, um, Leninade, get hammered and sickled. Join the party, as in the Communist Party. A taste worth standing in line for. Surprisingly satisfying, simple Soviet-style soda. Some Russian that I can't read. Uh, get really hammered and sickled. Beware the repressed Communist Party animal who is really a proletarian in denial, masquerading as a bourgeois Cold War monger. Our five-year plan? Drink a bottle a day for five years and become a hero of socialist flavor. <laughs> Misha, chill down this bottle and chill out. Chill down? Both, both, both times? Misha, chill down this bottle and chill out. Drink, comrade, drink. It's this or the gulag. <laughs> it's a lot. 
What's in this? A mystery. It doesn't say. You love to see it. Kind of a very, very mellow lemon soda. It's like a, like a fresca. All of the charm of this is in the bottle. Three, it's a drink. It's a drink. That's all I got for you. Sorry. <laughs> Disappointing, but not a huge surprise. What's the taste of communism? Um, boring, because as it turns out, communism's not really inherently a bad thing. It's just scared by McCarthyism. I mean, it's not a great thing. It's not a good system, but like, it's not evil. All right. I believe we're on our final batch. Here we go. Alcohol. So, for those who don't know me, I don't drink alcohol. I hate how alcohol tastes. Every time a friend has ever gone, oh, try this, you can barely taste the alcohol, they're a fucking liar, because they have already gotten used to how terrible alcohol tastes because it is poison. I could taste a eyedropper of alcohol in a bathtub. It's all bad. Um, so, I've got, I think, yeah, I've, I found seven. Um, both my parents and my friends would sometimes buy me drinks to hear me describe how disgusting they were as amusement, because I always think they're disgusting, and then I would say things like, it tastes like a Frenchman with a piss fetish. <laughs> so... Uh, I don't remember any except that I think it's like Bud Light tastes like the world's oldest Trisket. But uh, it's all bad. So, here we go. I'm going to hate all of these. I know I will. But I've never tried them. I don't know. I don't know. So, also I do have a friend who's coming to take these. So, um, I, I am actually going to have to drink these from a cup. Which of these looks the least... Me spitting in a D. This one. All right. First up, I'll do the mics last. Let's try truly strawberry lemon hard seltzer. This isn't even lemonade, but it's the best I could find. <sniffs> Smells like alcohol. Smells just like alcohol. There's just nothing else in it. As far as alcohol goes, that is drinkable. It's not good. It's fine. It it tastes like pretty okay strawberry. Le um, you know what it tastes like? Uh, Trader Joe's has these big bubble water things that are like shaped like that. They're very good, high tier bubble water. It tastes like you poured some alcohol in that. Um, first thing you taste is the alcohol. Then the middle, actually pretty nice seltzer. Aftertaste is alcohol. Um, it's alcohol, zero. If it didn't have alcohol in it, it'd be pretty good. Legit pace yourself on those sip. I'm taking seven sips of alcohol. I'll be fine. Um, this is Floyd's Spiked Lemonade. This is all the alcohol, by the way. These are the last drinks. Floyd's Spiked Lemonade. Um, if I can open this. Come on. It smells worse. Oh, it smells like a fish restaurant. Okay. Mm. 
So, so clearly the taste of drawing all over a dry erase board until with, with marker, until you can sort of smell it and like maybe a Sharpie in there. And you're like, ooh, ooh, I'm using too much Sharpie. Except instead of going like, I should stop or back away, going, better clean this board off. And just licking all of it off. That's what that tastes like. For sure worse than this. Also, this one says it's lemonade, the Floyds that I just drank. Um, this one tastes more like lemon to me. And there's no, there's, I mean, this is a seltzer. It's definitely better. Is there anything? This has, a, what, what, why are you calling it seltzer? There's lemon juice in this. And then this has, also a little lemon juice. They don't tell you how much because they are instead focusing on the alcohol by volume, which makes sense. Um, so out of those two, the loser is definitely Floyd. Yeah. Gross. Bad. And our final five here. We've got Mike's. Mike's Hard Lemonades. Never had these. Even people who drink alcohol make fun of them, so I hope they don't taste like alcohol. <laughs> okay. Doesn't smell like alcohol, which is a huge bonus to me. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be okay with these. Let's turn it. What? What the fuck? Mike, do you know what lemonade is? How much do you, is there lemon juice in here? Mike? Mike, I need to know. You don't say. Mike keeps his secrets. Mike. There is. So the alcohol is not in my face. It's, it's there. I mean, it is literally in my face now. That tastes like one of the piddliest, worst, lightest lemonades with barely any lemon flavor. And then someone pumped hand sanitizer into it. Not good. Not a good lemonade. Not a good alcohol beverage. Uh... I, <laughs> Keen. I, I would, honestly, like a, a, I can't rank the, I, I can't rank these because they're not good because <laughs> there's alcohol in them. They're all zeros for me. But, um, that one's the easiest to drink for me physically, but like it's, it's, there's no reward. Like I would actually rather finish like, Maybe not this much, but like a bottle of this and be like, ugh, alcohol. Because at least in the middle, I'm enjoying it. This one's just like, that's never good. There is less alcohol in that though, so that's something. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, this isn't a mic, so it's a Jack Daniels. All right, let's directly, well, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I was going to say I should compare all the flavors of Mike's, but I'm not going to like any of them, am I? All right. Jack Daniels Lynchbird Lemonade contains alcohol. Not very much, actually. Okay. Do you actually have... Why do you fuckers not list your shit on the bottle? God damn it. I hate it when I know what the flavor is and I can't identify it. Oh, I really, I really know this one. Lemon, that's it. No, um, 
Oh, it foams when I spit it out. Ew. <laughs> Hate alcohol. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh, it's so familiar. It's going to piss me off. Once again, this one has poolside energy. Calypso has it in a good way. This has it in a bad way. Oh, wow. It's so familiar. Oh my God. It's some really crappy lemon candy. It's like, hang on. I think I might have figured it out. Nope. I was like, is it Starburst? And I was like, nope, I like Starburst. This is all bad. This tastes like if you have like $1 and you're at the store and you can buy one candy and there's like one of those store brand bags of candy and like fruit slices or something. And it's like, no, not even, it's, there's no gelatin in it. Um, they're just something, it's some generic candy. It's like, okay, cherry's all right. Blue's okay, and you get the lemon, it's like, how do they fuck up? How do they fuck up lemon so bad? Mmm, lemon heads? No. Um, God, which is better? I hate you, Jack Daniels. I recognize you so much. I don't know what it is. Oh, you're really bad. You're really bad. Mike's is better. It's bad, but they're both bad. So like drink the one that tastes less shitty. All right, let's try these other ones. I'm gonna save hard black cherry for last. Whoa, careful there. <laughs> Getting kind of tipsy from my three sips of alcohol in my 300 pound 6'5 body. All right, let's try this. This is uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade Pineapple Seasonal Pick. I will do my best. I keep fucking up and drinking from the bottle, which I'm sure my friend who's coming over to take these is going to love. I'm not sure how he's going to transport them. We'll figure it out. Um, all of these have some shit in them because I'm being gross and I'm spitting. Pineapple. This is almost good. There's a flavor on this. It's pineapple. It's like, it's like if I went to Willy Wonka's factory and you're on that fruit wall where it's like lickable wallpaper. And again, it's like there was a pineapple and someone scribbled on it with Sharpie at the end. But like, that's, there's pineapple. This one's drinkable. And it kind of has a good aftertaste. I might give this a three. It's way better than all the other ones. It doesn't taste like lemonade, it tastes like pineapple, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you one, Mike's. You have one good one. I mean, it's not good, but I, I could drink that. I could, like, if I, were, if I were like a spy infiltrating a poker game and I had to have something, I could drink that and not make a face. Though honestly, like, if you're gonna drink alcohol, if you're gonna drink a, a Mike's hard lemonade to be like, yeah, I'm a cool guy. I'm just like you guys. You, you kind of already failed, haven't you? <laughs> All right. I gotta wash this out so I can use it again because the alcohol is gonna mix together. Okay. This is hard strawberry lemonade. Doesn't smell very good, but none of them do. What the fuck? You took that pink starburst and you rubbed it so hard on that dry erase board. And like, I'm not eating the pink starburst you used as an eraser. I'm still licking the board and being like, oh, I think there was a starburst here. It's not good. I think it's probably better than the basic lemonade, which is very nothing. Again, I can only taste the alcohol a little, comparatively. It's still on my breath. Into the gross pot. 
All right. Give it a four. No. Okay. Mike's Hard Black Cherry Lemonade. This is the final drink. This is our lemonade count. Okay. I could drink this. Four. The actual sour of the black cherry is about as powerful as the alcohol. So I can ignore it. Four, four in the universe where I drink alcohol. Uh, it's, still, it's still like a one for me. God, even with alcohol, this is better than some of the other shit I've had. This is the best one. Easy. Easy, easy. Pineapple and black cherry. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. So, uh, this is all the lemonades. I'm unsurprisingly, I'm going to go pee and then I'm going to come back. I'll try, I'll try this monstrosity and then I'm going to, I'm going to get a bottom and top three and then we'll call it. So I'm going to go pee. I'm going to mix this over the sink because it's going to fall out. I'm terrible at pouring shit. I know I'm going to fuck it up. So I'm taking half of this. And some of... Oh the blue chunks really make it very unappetizing, I got to say. Worse than the backwash. <laughs> Okay, here we have it. The most average lemonade. Was my piss the cut? No, it was actually pretty light. <clears throat> there are strawberry chunks in here. This looks nice, I have to say. So uh, I guess I'll, so you guys can see it. Here it is, uh, about, I'd say like 55 lemonades mixed together. Again, um, it looks much, much darker than it is in real life there, because um, it looks like a slightly darker than average pink lemonade. Here it is next to its brother. Wow, it looks, it looks like five shades darker on the camera. Huh. It's not that dark. All right. Oh, not good. You know what really... Wow. It has a lot of the worst parts of this shit in it. 
that that rose is that like rose elderflower is really overpowering and the um the tartar the pickle is not chug i guess i should right my lord you're sippy <laughs> Oh, profoundly not very good. Are you going to add the ones next? No, because I threw half of them out and the other half uh, have monk fruit in them, so I can't drink them. I genuinely don't want to chug this. But I guess I should. And it'll be all your fault when I get sick. I can't fucking chug it. It's not a chugging glass. Mm. My little baby mouth can't fit it. That actually got better as it went. Still not good. Two. <laughs> All right. So if anyone would like this recipe for shitty subpar lemonade, um, you can try it. God, I wish there was a way I could show you these blue chunks. There's only two of them, so I must have chunked most of them there. Ugh. Not good. Also, I spat on that, so I can't share it with people coming over. Down the drain it goes. Now then. Oh. What a fucking mess. Ugh. Oh, I predictably don't feel good after that. But here we are. Did anyone, how many, what was the number? How many uh, lemonades was that? Like 72? And, uh, hmm, 80, 80, 80 even? Wow. That's cool. Okay. Um, did anyone make a list with rankings? And can you tell me what my fives were? I remember some of them. Does Big Glass count? Fuck no. <laughs> Big Glass... Tasted like three out of ten mediocre store lemonade with the worst parts of the weird lemonades in it. Ugh. My burps taste so bad. <laughs> All right. Let's move this shit out of the way. I'm going to move my laptop. I don't want it to be near this table. Okay. Sorry, I should have been looking at the chat to see answers to that. Okay. Tweeted one at you. I can't see that right now. AC chat. Okay, I'll look at that. Give me a second. I won't be able to see chat messages for a little while. I am going to throw up all of that lemonade. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. Sorry, okay. You've got a huge list here. Can you cut it down to just the number ones? I don't want to skim through this. Oh, you did. Sorry. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I know. Okay, cherry limeade soda. Got that one. Yeah, let me move all this shit out of the way. Just look how quickly this green lemonade like sinks to the bottom to become ponds. It looks so much like a pond. Unreal, the pond energy. Thank you, Bo. All right, there we go. So we've got a couple fives. 
Get out of my way. We're gonna throw up. <laughs> because this is so bad. All right. So, Dublin Cherry Limeade. Boylan Sparkling. Right, 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 right. Um, where did I put you? Here we go. Simply Blueberry, okay? Oh, it's all the way back there. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry guys. I forgot one. <laughs> We are not ending at 80, which is a nice round number. I've got one more lemonade. I'm just gonna waterfall it. This is Langer's lemonade. Maybe it'll be a five, who knows. It tastes exactly the same as all these other shitty store lemonades too. You need to know how to spell it. Oh, it's still backwards. Read it backwards. Langer's lemonade. It's not good. Why do they all taste like that? Okay. Shoutouts to Calypso for having three fives. Goddamn. All right, Calypso. Strawberry light. Calypso Island Wave, which has actually disappeared on me. That's the, that's the beautiful candle, isn't it? Where did you go, my love? Candle. My cherry, yeah, here they are. Oh, you love to see them. All right. Okay. And, did I not take it out? Am I a clown? Oh, it's right here. Simply Blueberry. So, looking at all of these on their own, I'm afraid Simply, fuck it, I'm just gonna keep this. I get to drink it. God, that's so fucking good. All right, boring answer. If you are going to a store, and this is the answer I didn't want, you guys. If you're going to a store and you're just gonna buy a normal ass lemonade, Simply Blueberry. This is it, this is it, this is the best I'm a normal lemonade, I come in a large thing, and I'm good. Now, if you want one of these sugar monstrosities masquerading as lemonade, I think these are the ones I gotta determine. So, Calypso Blackberry, Island Wave Candle. You know what, just for these, really quick, uh, I'm gonna do you a favor, you get to see what these actually look like. Let me flip this. Transform and flip it horizontal. All right. Calypso. Two more Calypsos. They look nice. I like it this way better. Ding, ding, ding. And these guys. Now let's determine who is the best one. Because my teeth are like Man, you haven't quite murdered us yet. Let's figure it out. I love how bright pink my lips look right now. Uh, transform. Go back to the vertical flip. I don't remember why I did that, but there was a reason, and I'm going to trust my past self. <clears throat> All right. So let me get back to the chat so I can see your reactions your lovely faces that are text. All right, this feels weird. Okay, well, we've got, we've got these three here. Let's just decide which of these is the best Calypso drink. So, strawberry lemonade. Oh, oh, it's such a pool drink. It really tastes like a pool. 
in like the best possible way. Oh, it's so nice. Candle. Candle has to go last. Candle sticks with you. Right, the bitch that tastes like blood. Ah. Oh man, I really like this one. This one's better than this. Easy. That one stings. Ooh, these two are not friends. Do not drink them back to back. Wow. <laughs> oh, what color is my tongue, I wonder? Um, the blood is good. It, I don't have to tell you. Gut reaction. I think blood, better than purple, better than strawberry. All great, though. Calypso also has a lot of flavors I didn't get to try, and there's none I dislike. So if you ever see any of those at the store, uh, I would recommend them. All right, sparkling lemonade boiling. So good. Oh, I get to wiggle again. I forgot that I liked these. And then this guy. This one's so mellow. You know what? This one's like, when you drink it, it's like, yeah! But this one, this one's like a memory. This one feels like rocking on a porch. It's just so sweet. I like this one more than this. So, and I'm pretty sure, if I'm being honest, I think this is worse than all four of these. I'll try it again. This one's also like genuinely kind of sour and bittersweet, which I like. But I'm just ranking these five weird ones. Okay. Um, man, this is going to be hard. Okay. Uh, top spot will be closer to big drink. So let's try this. I know these three, so let's try candle. Candle is so weird. I really like it though. You know what this is? This is the best a sweet mellow lemonade could possibly be, even though it's a craft soda. I'm put I'm putting it up here. But is it better? Is it better than this? This fucker does not play nice with anyone else. It tastes really bad if you mix it. I think this is better. Okay, and then boil in. You know what? This is my order. Top five, um, you're probably six. Uh, the Dublin Cherry Limeade is a soda, so it's not a lemonade. This is cheating. But if I'm including it, this fucker's the best one. It's just nice. Then Boylan Sparking Lemonade, this, this one is technically a lemonade. It's really good. All Calypso is good. Simply is good. All right. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. Uh, I thought I'd have to do a bottom ranking. I literally had to throw, well here, I'll show you the can if I've still got it. We've got our loser as well. God, do we? Yeah, there he is. Swoon Lemonade Pink Lemonade. This is one of the worst things I've ever had. Uh, it is fucking disgusting. I, I felt nauseous the moment it touched my lips. I had to spit it out. So, that's the poison. All right. Thank you guys for coming to this very stupid stream. I'm like legitimately exhausted. <laughs> Uh, thank you for helping me celebrate my 27th birthday. I don't have a send-off for this. If you're a mutual who lives in Dallas, please come to my house and take lemonade from me. I need to buy groceries, and I don't have room. And I'd rather not pour this shit down the drain. So, yeah.
I'm also not going to want any lemonade for a week. That's everything. Let's see if there's anyone I can raid. It's Sunday. Lots of stuff is happening. Let's see. Nobody I know is raiding, so fuck them. All right. Yeah, let's, let's end it there. Goodbye. Oh, my color's my tongue. Disgustingly webcam pink, just like my lips. Mm -hmm. Good birthday kisses. <laughs>